afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John. I'm Claire. This is Media True Nerd, and welcome back to Resident Evil. I Yay. thought, I, I, I swore, I swore I told you not to let me do this again, but here we are. But it's you Res said this one didn't have, um, <clears throat> this one does, coming this, out of the this one does not thing. have, as to the best of my knowledge, this one does not have any women with beehives in their vagina. Or if they do, it's not part of the plot. Like, it's just a hobby thing that is not actually central to the plot. Like, it's possible Claire Redfield just enjoys keeping bees in her vagina because she, like, you know, she's a fan of Gwyneth Paltrow or she's been enjoying that new Gloop Lab thing and thus inserts bees into her vagina um, because they are, they're, they're basically nature's douches, if you think about it. You know, they're, they're small, they're fuzzy, they get into all the awkward nooks and crazy. <laughs> I just, sorry, I just did. <laughs> okay, so that's um. He just made a z sound and then touched my leg. Yes. So that's the, the live stream's off to a good start. Like it's it's all down. That was the high point. It's all downhill from here. Uh, okay. So first things. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, the chat is great today. Hi, yeah. chat. So, uh, obviously, there's two oh campaigns in Resident Evil. Uh, I was originally just going to do Claire's because we did Leon for 20 minutes when we did this originally on the channel, when we did the 20-minute demo. But, like, given they're so similar, I thought we may as well put it to vote. So, Claire, I believe you have a um, something yes, ready. So, we have a straw poll ready for you. <clears throat> so, you can actually... Um, we can actually have uh, a little uh, vote right now. So, for which campaign you want. I mean, they're very similar. And I think they, they, the kind of the key difference is going to be later in the run than we probably get to today. But uh, there is a straw poll. Claire's just added that to the chat right now, so that's going to be the first decision. Is going to be we're going to, we can do either Leon uh, or Claire. Let's just make sure this is actually working. By the way, that looks good. That looks good. That looks good. <laughs> and that looks good because I'm using controller. Good. <clears throat> I do like the number of options you get in this game, by the way. Really appreciate this, by the way. This game sets the gold standard. I know this is the most boring thing. It sets the most... It sets the gold standard for, like, graphics options. Where, like, it tells you when you're changing things. Uh, like, what that's going to impact and how well your rig's going to do. And then shows you live, uh, like, what difference that would actually theoretically, uh, like, make. And when you're getting into the stage where you might be getting into, like, dodgy stuff. And I, I, I like that. I think that's really, really damn cool. So, yeah, you can actually have yourself, like, you can actually, you can literally see live, uh, like, what does or doesn't work. I think that's really cool. So, uh, this, this is the gold standard for options menus, which is obviously the single most important thing that the options menu be fine. I've set this up um, much like I would do a narrative game, so there is the odd cutscene in this. So, uh, hopefully the volume level should be fine, but the when characters start speaking, it should be louder. And I've got subtitles on, of course. So, that should all be uh, set up correctly. <coughs> Excuse me. Claire, do we have any obvious winners for the, uh, for the thing? FYI. Uh, just a second. Oh, sorry. Claire's doing a thing. Claire is obviously the superior <clears throat> option. So you just read one option. person. That's just one person who said that. I mean, that. look, the, the poll right now is 60% Claire, 40% Leon. We are close to 300 votes. That's fine. I was so expecting Claire to win. Like... I was expecting Claire to win anyway. So I'm not I'm not too desperately uh, surprised by that. Claire does have the superior jacket. She's wearing a red jacket and comes on a motorcycle. Uh, the only advantage to Leon is Ada is a really cool character who will make a lot more significant appearances subsequently. Uh, and yeah, Claire Redfield hangs out with Sherry, who some people might find annoying. I'm not sure we'll even meet Sherry today. I don't know if we'll even get as far. I don't know when she shows up, because this is not like a full remake. It's a remaster with some changes going on. And I don't know what the different similarities, like how separate the two campaigns are. Like they used to be Leon A and Leon B on Claire A and Claire B back in the days of the original. I don't know whether that's still a thing or not. So we'll have to, uh, we'll have to see about that. So we may as well kick off. I'm just going to go for standards. <laughs> we'll avoid assisted. That sounds that sounds almost patronising. I'm staying off hardcore for the time being because I don't actually know the game, so I don't know what it's going to look like. So screw it. We're just going to go straight into uh, to standard mode. So Raccoon City, an industrial city somewhere in the American Midwest. We don't really know where. The game never really says. Look, man, I'm serious, okay? I saw this with my own eyes. Oh, I believe you, buddy. I believe you. <laughs> Just tell us a story. Tell us a story. Okay, well, it was last Friday night. I was walking home from the bar, and this woman started coming towards me. 
She was staggering, you know, so I, I figured she was drunk. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, tell us, be honest now, how many drinks did you have? No, man, I, I barely had a buzz on her. Oh, come on. Look, just listen, all right? She got closer, and I got a good look at her. You had to see her eyes, her nose, her whole face. It looked like it was rotting. Yeah. She looked like a corpse. Like a walking corpse, man. <laughs> Sounds like my wife. I've never seen anything like it. I haven't been able to sleep since that night. All right, calm down, buddy. Calm down. Just, hey, you got to stay strong, okay? Don't give in to fear out there, right? Yeah, well, you got that right. If you freeze up around these things, they'll sink their teeth in a little. I saw a tax away. Oh, come on. It's just getting good. I need some sleep. Oh, shit! What am I going to do? She wasn't looking that rotten, to be honest. She was looking fine in the bag there. Maybe she just took a bit of a bad fall, but she's fine. I'd love it if now there were no zombies whatsoever. That'd be the best one. You know me, I'll be fine. Sounds good. I'll be back as soon as I find Chris. I wonder if she's speaking to them. I'm I just have a confirmed. I gotta go. Why does everyone think I'm gonna get in trouble? What the? Hello? Oh, this is no. The game starts off in a petrol station. A gas station as we're in America. Technically, that's that's new, right there. That's yeah. I think the the original. You just basically arrive straight to Raccoon City, and you're just in like a blazing, uh, blazing wreck. And also, I pit up. Just have a gun. Okay, that seems a little bit aggressive. I feel like it says, "Oh yeah, I'm not gonna get into trouble. I'm just gonna find Chris." Yeah, you, you brought a gun which you're openly carrying. I feel like you were expecting trouble. Wait, but is this in America? This is it somewhere is in the American. She a cop? No, she's not a cop. I'm not sure her profession is ever specified. Do we know where in America it is? Midwest. It has never been confirmed exactly what state. We only know that it is uh, mountainous, foresty, and in the Midwest. So I mean, That sounds like a state that would have open carry. It's vaguely Appalachian, we think, but I don't think it's ever been confirmed what state Raccoon City uh, is in. Okay. Where are we going in? Hello? Anybody here? Oh, that's cute. Herb ice creams in this universe. Herbs do heal you. Oh, that's so cute. Hello? Um. Oh, no. Claire. It's the scariest thing of all. Have you noticed it yet? Just hiding there in plain sight. Prices that don't include taxes. So you have to calculate taxes ah. off the top of your head. Why would you not have the price including tax, you mad bastards? You mad, mad bastards. That's really cute. Herb ice cream. Herbs heal you. And the three colours of herb ice cream are actually... <laughs> green, red, and yellow. That's so cute. Because uh, those are the colours of like, um, herbs that you are actually healing items in this game. So that's actually... That's super cute. Okay, there's, there's a lot of blood here. A lot of, mm, a lot of blood. I'm just gonna... uh, so people are saying that in the novelizations, she is a uh, student. She looks a bit old to be a student and to her, me, but okay. Yeah, but people do post-grads. Maybe she's post-grad, yeah. Yeah, um, and people go back sometimes, I don't know. 
Uh, and then people are also saying her brother's in the special forces, apparently. Are you okay? Yeah. And that Appalachia is not the Midwest, John. Come on. Oh, right is here. it not? I'll check it out. It. Didn't you at some point think you could go from, like, California to, like... I, I thought I thought I thought um I thought that Chicago was on I thought Chicago was on the west coast yeah, for well, a long time yeah I thought it was close by to San Francisco because the name sound vaguely similar also I just want to point out Wait, she's... Sorry, Chicago and San Francisco sound similar to you they both got a C in them at least one okay oh, they both got two in fact oh you see it's very good I you see John there's San Diego and San Jose and, you know, like... And so, yeah, lots of... Santa Monica. Los Angeles Santa does Barbara. not begin with San, all right? Los Angeles does not yes, begin with John, San. There's the whole language thing where Los Angeles, like, as a phrase, Whatever. Is Spanish. Look, I just, so want, I just want to praise Claire for the fact that she came around the court and saw this. And her immediate response is, hey, are you okay? He points through a door next to me. She's like, oh, okay, I'll go check that out for you. Like, wow, not... I, I better call emergency services or something. Just, she's she's cool with this. That's, it's pretty good. He's he's not looking hot. That's rolling. Okay, maybe they made it scarier than I was expecting because. The thing you got Resident Evil 2 originally was really schlocky. It was kind of campy, like the original Resident Evils were. I think they might have scaried it up a bit, which is a concern. This is hilarious to me because I don't get sound. Me, is everything okay? So oh. Stay back, man. I got this. I don't think. I don't think. I don't think you got this. Maybe now he's full because he's just eaten. It's like Tabby. Don't he's going to go to sleep. Uh-oh. 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 No, John, it's not like Tabby. It's like every other cat except for Tabby. Did you stop eating? Do I have a knife? I don't have a knife yet. Are you down? His face is looking pretty... Reload. Just in case. Oh, it's a really slow loading revolver. Okay, he's not getting up. Sometimes they get up again after you're done. Sometimes they're dicks like that in Resident Evil. Ooh, a key. Why do I need the key? Storage room. Why do I need the storage room key? I don't know why I even need the storage room key, but escape from the store. I could have just not come into the store in the first place. Why did I even need the key? And oh, 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 oh. Yeah, he's, he's getting back up again. Ah, uh, it might be a good idea just to go, actually. I feel like we just want to... We just want to go. Yeah, I'm, I'm just naffing the flip off, actually. And... Hey. What the hell? Yeah, but I've got a key, don't I? Uh oh. Do not have a key. Where's the Uh oh. Okay. Um so we might want to just Damn it. Okay, just stay down. Seriously. Seriously, just stay the flip. Shoot for the legs. Shoot for legs. Okay, interesting. And I'll also just... don't waste ammo, John. I, I can waste ammo as much as I want. I'm panicking right now. I'm sure using up like all my ammo in this opening section is not. This is fine. Okay, this was the door uh, I wanted. Someone says zombies don't stay dead in this game. They will always get back they up. They always get back up? Oh, Apparently. cock me. Okay, maybe we don't want to... Maybe we don't want to... Oh, cock. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, it's, 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 stamp. Okay, I've been a bit bitten. I've been a bit bitten. Uh, okay, time to just GTFO. That guy was coming up that aisle. So if I come around here... Oh, no, 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 no. Quick, quick, quick. Okay, just run. Run, grab some herb ice cream on the way out. Hi, Leon! Well, don't shoot! Get down! This was in the days when Leon was a child and thus had floppy hair. I like baby Leon. Baby Leon's We gotta cute. get out of here. You alright? Yeah. He does look very so. Riley, though. Yeah. Thanks. You can thank me later when we're safe. Leon's incredibly naive and oblivious and gets manipulated a lot. Mainly by Ada. So, Riley, then. Yeah. Come on! Get in! Hold on. going on? I don't know. Hopefully they'll have some answers at the police station. 
Wait, you're a cop? Yeah, Leon Kennedy. You are? Claire. Claire Redfield. You live around here? No. I'm looking for my brother. He's a cop, too. Well, it's a good thing we found each other. I don't know what to expect anymore. Now, by this point, you may be wondering, hang on, if this is about zombies and the zombie plague is spread by biting and Claire just got bitten, why is it Claire infected? Yeah, there's a lot of people in the chat going like, time to cut her loose. Yeah, unfortunately, there is just protagonist plot armor that I don't believe Resident Evil has ever explained because every Resident Evil protagonist is simply immune to the plague being spread by biting. Everybody else, you get bitten, you become a zombie. Yeah. Resident Evil protagonists, they just don't. Mm -hmm. Even if you don't heal their wounds, they just don't. Ever. They can become infected, but it needs something special, like being injected by a special strain or something. Oh, I see. Uh, so they, there have been instances, I mean, Jill Valentine in Resident Evil 3, Leon Kennedy himself in Resident Evil 4, uh, do become infected. They often will, therefore, find the cure will be a major thing, a uh, major part of the game. But um, they, there is just re there is just plot armor for all your protagonists in Resident Evil. Okay, so people are clarifying about the zombies and shooting them and stuff. Yeah. Uh, so. So if I want to stagger, I want to go for legs, not heads. Okay. Well, I was gonna say a thing. Yeah. Um, you can they die if their heads explode. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but that's a luck crit headshot, and it's more of the exception than the rule. Fine. Okay. Uh. Police station's not much farther. They'll know something. Yeah, but what if we're the only ones? What if there's no survivors? No, there's survivors. It's a big city. There has to be. Oh, that roadblock. Okay, this now, now we're now we're joining up to the beginning of Resident Evil 2 originally. That roadblock's gonna be on fire in about five yeah. seconds. And we're walking from here. <laughs> Claire's like, no, we're not. No, we're not. More like running. Yeah, good call. Oh, Jesus Christ. Maybe you just don't get out of the car, you bad bastard. Yeah, back up right out of the city, you bad lunatics. Oh, here comes truck man. He's got a taste for blood now. And I think he's not actually infected at all. Holy he's just shit. like, you know what? I really enjoyed running, running down that woman. I'm just going to keep running down people now. Toot, toot. Out of my way. I'm a murderer. Hold on. Oh, and there's going to be the fire momentarily. The fire that begins the game in Resi 2. So everything's about to catch fire. There it is. Yay. Now we're back at the proper beginning of Resi 2. Oh, shit. Which separates Claire and Leon on the other side. So they go slightly different paths. Okay, okay, okay. Now, now, now it's time to start running. Now it's time to start running. Give her a wide berth. Okay, give me the tactics 101, Claire. Can't stop. Um, Gotta keep moving. Give us the tactics 101, chat. You were giving me advice a second ago. What happened to the advice? No, oh. I was telling you what's going on with the gun charts. Uh huh. Um, okay, so someone was saying, like, with like her pistol, it takes uh, 8 to 14 shots to kill a zombie with her handgun. Wow, so okay. That's way too many. So maybe just try um, and avoid rather than fighting. Okay, yeah, I, but I see. They were saying, like, also you can check if they're dead by knifing them, which I think you tried to do earlier. Almost yeah. There. Um, and yeah. How far can they roam? Can they actually keep following me indefinitely, or do they have a limited roam range? 
looks like it's either well they're slow back in these days they were slow they get faster in later games later games they can also use guns uh which is we seem to have a moment's piece of the time being so yeah it sounds like going if like if i want to just like if i want to do like a stagger like i want to stagger so i can push past them in the corridor is a knee shot the right thing to do chat is a knee shot the right thing to do uh because it sounds like the headshots are not as good as i was expecting like you know typically you go to get this thinking, okay i want to do headshots maybe not uh, shoot only when you really need to um Evade, shoot for the legs to stagger so that you can run past, run like hell, don't yeah. die. Okay. Uh, only shoot if you have no other choice. So leg stagger is the better option than a headshot unless I'm going for a kill, which I shouldn't be doing for the most part. Shoot, okay. Shoot the leg stagger and stab. Okay. I don't have a knife yet, uh, so hopefully I'll get that pretty soon. Well, well, there should be knives at the police station. I don't know how yeah. far of a goal that is. We just actually we just got there, which is much faster because there's a bit more there's a bit more running around the city in the original. There's like um, Leon visits like a gun shop. Maybe he does in his campaign, but Claire gets pretty much there. Yeah. Hello. Um... If I stand right here, can we be friends? Hi. Mwah. I love you. I also love how she runs in and then immediately just bars the gate. So I hope Leon's not kind of coming in this way. Because if Leon has to come in this way, he's gonna be boned. I've just uh, I've pretty much screwed him over. So that's good. Hello! I'm not actually a police officer. So, do we have problems? Explore. Okay. So I'm going to be here? eating. No one says hello. Ah! Ammo! Okay, my ammo problems are solved. I now have ammo. That's a whole flipping nine bullets. So, we, you know, we're, fi we're absolutely fine now. We're 100% fine. Uh, so I'm guessing that's a standard storage chest. Yep, that's just a magic storage chest in Resident Evil. Chest and magic teleportation devices too. Uh, and they also want you to remember to mix up herbs and not try to use herbs on their own. I'm, this isn't my first Where Resi game, I know that. I don't know, you are asking for tactics, people are getting tactics. Uh, I would like to know if yellow herbs are a thing Shit. in this game, or if that doesn't Very exist yet. Because yellow herbs you could mix with green for what? bonus uh, health. I found a way out, it's in here. Reinforcements. East hallway. Okay, got myself a map. I should help this guy. Should you? Should you, college student who just rolled into town? Should you actually? And oh, I've got a map without having to find a map. Well, that's nice. And ah, this is the bit in the twenty-minute demo. Okay, so this bit at the beginning of the game. I know, but I can actually explore a bit more thoroughly without having to panic on this occasion because I'm not limited to the 20-minute demo. Uh, so I may as well check the rest of the room first. And yeah, I need a knife in order to cut through uh, this tape. So, okay. This is a good moment to have a bit of a looty round, grab any stuff that's just sitting about. Claire, all yours. Yes, uh, massive shout out to uh, Nick, who gave us £50. Oh, thank you very much, Nick. Uh, and didn't leave a message, so if you want to at reply me in a chat um, to, to leave a message for me to read out for John, uh, that would be cool. Excellent. And then, uh, there's a bunch of people giving uh, strategy advice like you asked. Excellent. What, um, are, what, what are some good tips for us? Uh, Ryan gave us £2 and says, shoot for the legs because a crawler is harmless. Shoot for the legs, just ah. I, well, didn't we pass a crawler and like it, it, it no, like it bit me from below? You. It can grab at you, but it's just apparently much slower. Okay, um, there's a safe. We're doing the combination for there. Remember, there's a safe. Uh, and shout out to Sir Paroli who gave us ten uh, Polish zloty and says, "Just fuck shit up." Just fuck shit up. I mean, it seems like a deficient strategy to me. Mm-hmm. And there's a pot of plant, but fortunately that's a good thing. So I can heal myself. You can do like green is a tiny bit of healing. Green plus red is like a full heal, as is a first aid spray. Um, yeah, in Resident Evil 4, they introduced yellow herbs. I'm not sure what those... Did, did you ever see if anyone said whether those made it back in time uh, to the remake? And thus I can increase my max health using yellow. Uh, let's see. I'm sure that will show up in a second I, if I'm that's a I'm thing. sorry, it's just that I am pretty sure I'm on my own moderating today, so it's quite busy. No yellow, it's only blue, red, and green. And no yellow. Okay, so blue, that's for poison, or at least I think it's, I think that's poison. 
Um, uh, okay, uh, very important. The knives will break in our defensive items for herbs. Uh, oh, they're like daggers in the Resident Evil re the original Resident Evil remake. Okay, I see. Uh, yes. uh, green herbs will heal you for one health stage. You have to mix red and green to get a stronger heal. Yep, I am aware of that. That's okay. been Resident Evil for as long as Resident Evil has uh, been a thing. Cool. Her starting pistol is trap. I, I, I got that from the fact I used most of my ammo <laughs> yeah, on yeah, one yeah. guy and he's not dead yet. Uh, he, he's just anyway. he's just living his best life at the petrol station. So that's David who says no donation tonight. Sorry, because I start my uh, master's degree on Friday. Uh, so congratulations for that. Uh, don't go away. It's okay. I know it's, it's fine. Not as, it's not as scary as uh, it's not as scary as postgraduate education. It, don't worry. No, not even close. Uh, <laughs> enjoy your celebrate your celebratory curry, David. Damn straight. Good old celebratory curry. Uh, so we want to make it over to there, but we've I believe this area was all quiet. That's lock block from the other side, so that's fine. Uh, I think this area is quiet until we hit like the point where I activate the. Just the game messing with me. It's fine. Focus, Claire. Focus. Now I assume we're playing by Resident Evil One rules, not Resident Evil Four rules, where downed enemies drop like good stuff. Because downed enemies used to drop like you know, ooh. down enemies in Resi Four drop like money and ammo, so killing them makes sense. But I'm guessing, I'm guessing enemies in this game don't. I'm just going to turn the lights on. There we go. And apparently there's something to do here. Ah, free ammo. Okay, this is why we scavenge. So that we've got enough ammo. So if need be, I can take out the legs. Apparently there was a first aid spray you missed. I don't know if it's... Uh... Oh, that's going to be a thing. I mean, just because if you kind of look at the, like... If you look at this, like, items are not very clearly labeled. Yeah, they don't, yeah, like, yeah. they don't have, like, quite as a distinctive a twink as they do in some games. And uh, the atmosphere is quite visually busy. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm gonna miss stuff. I'm okay. gonna miss stuff. Well, um, <sighs> sorry. Shout out to Raven who gives three dollars and <sighs> says, uh, "Knife down and isolated zombies from behind." Knife. Oh, no! Sorry, that's my bad. You should knife, as in the verb to knife. Yeah. You should knife down and isolated zombies from behind. That makes sense. That took sense. me a while to understand the structure of that sentence. I'm very sorry. It's very obvious once and noticed. Uh, shout out to Ryan who uh, gave us two pounds and says also save your knives for the bosses. However, I should point out that many people in the chat um, are questioning why you should uh, keep your knives for the bosses. Um, so, I mean, I can yeah. see how that, like, if the boss grabs you, like, if the knives were, like, daggers in Resi 1, then they're basically get-out-of-jail-free cards for damage, so against heavy-hitting enemies, I can see the the benefits there. Mm. Uh, <laughs> so that's good. Uh... Um, that's, just, that's just a reflection, isn't it? Yes. Now, can I go through this door to oh. get around the back? Oh my God. And, ah! I'm gonna need... Like Hi. bolt cutters or something for that. Open up! Hurry! Open up! I'm in no Open hurry whatsoever. No! I refuse. That's blocked, by the way. Okay, this is where shit's gonna start going wrong. So we need to we need to do this fast. As soon as this happens, we need to just get Come back here. to the hallway and the not fight. Huh. Hurry up. But this is hurry a good chance to try my leg shots. Uh, give me your head! Help me! Give me the useful item. I can't actually be bothered to save you. No, no, he's he's screw up. No, just take take the thing, take the thing, take the thing. Bye. No. Oh, your intestines. I love him. They went proper full on gory with this one. I think this might be the goriest Resident Evil of all. Ugh. Officer's notebook. Goddess statue. Three medallions. I like how this is this police officer just does little doodles to represent his thoughts rather than writing things down. He just draws nice accessible diagrams. Uh so medallions. Gotta put three medallions in the <laughs> goddess statue. 
the officer is like, you know, the officer is like Sean. <laughs> He's like doing nothing. Yeah. <laughs> He's just sitting down and sketching. And then he has to sketch a little bit more just to give more details in. Yeah. So, I think this is pretty more details. Uh -huh. And then we've got ourselves, uh, yeah, then there's, okay, solutions to various puzzles. Everything's about to go tits up, by the way. Uh, uh, Jack points out that your strategy okay. should be don't be like that. The knee shot did nothing! I shot him in the knee and it did nothing! Chat cocking betrayed me! Go, 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 just cocking run. Cocky, run. Uh, can't get through there because I don't have a bolt cutter. Uh, it's time to just flip in. Go. Just try and bypass. Ah, screw it. Just go. Just push past. Uh, just escape. I'm just going to basically go at this point. Go, 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 go. I don't know whether I'm coming back to this area. I mean, I'm going to have to come back to this area at some point, but... Faster! Claire, you just saw what happened to people who clamber under things. And we've got quick time events. I don't know whether there are quick time events in this game. And you Marvin buddy chats. Watch out! Come on it. Ooh, squish. You alright? Yeah. You're safe. For now. Marvin Branner. Thanks. Obviously, someone taught you well. Yeah. I know how to take care of myself. Come on. I don't really want to take your hand to get up, to be <sighs> honest. It's covered in blood. Okay, people are saying, John, if it takes 12 so shots to the, the head to this? kill a zombie. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of theories. But all I know for sure is that this place is crawling with zombies. Yeah, you're telling me. Hey, hey, keep that on. Just in case. I'm not gonna be around long. Once I find Chris, we're out of here. You're really Chris's sister? Yeah. Why? Did you find something? He's on vacation. Europe, I think. Left weeks ago. Vacation? That's... that's great news. Well, I've got more for you. Looks like there might be a way out through this secret passageway. Good. Mm. We got blood on my nice book. We should probably get you to a hospital. Oh, 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 oh. Forget about me. What does she care think myself. hospitals are still open? No. Don't be ridiculous. You're going to need some help. Listen, Claire. Save yourself. So you can see your brother again. Now. <clears throat> you'll probably need this. No, I'm not taking that. You're going to... And be careful. If you see one of those things, no matter who they were, you can't hesitate. Take them out if you can. Or you run. <laughs> he doesn't have plot armor. Yeah. So I'm guessing we have to put him down at some point. That's going to be sad. Yeah, and people are saying, like, you you need to take more than one shot in the knee to down people. Yeah, makes yeah. sense. Yeah, um, fine. And also, stand still helps yeah. when you're, like, aiming. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, there, there, was, there was some shade on, on the shot that you put in. They said you miss, You need to have several shots that don't miss. Okay, fine. So we got a knife. So we can just use a knife like it's a knife, but we can also use it as a defense dagger uh, as yeah, need be. Yeah, let's see, let's see, let's see. Cool. See, um, uh, 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 let... yeah. Sorry, Ryan says. Uh, Ryan gave us another two pounds. Yeah. And says you save knives for bosses because knives are OP for bosses and deal a ton of damage. Oh, hang on! I've heard of this. This is because, uh, like in some games, like with Fallout and movement. Uh, knife slashes are tied to frame rate. So if your frame rate is higher, then you do more damage with a knife. So actually yeah. knives can be slightly ludicrous if you've got an uncapped frame rate. I think I kept the frame rate to 60, if I recall correctly, just for the sake of consistency. Uh, so I'm not sure whether that, yeah, whether that means that it's going to be better 
or worse, but now I've actually got this, I can start getting to a brand new area. Hooray for me. Right, we're still in the, the realm of bits I vaguely know. This is fine. But we've still got, we're have starting to gain ammo here. Okay, when you're in the uh, inventory space, items that have a red check mark like those keys can be safely discarded. Ah. Since they take up uh, inventory space. It's odd that that didn't actually get auto suggested to me because that's how it used to be in uh, in older Resident Evil games. When you when you, an item had been fully used, you didn't need it anymore. The game said this item is now useless. Do you want to discard it? So it's kind of odd that they took that away. But all right. Yeah. Uh, and uh, let's see. I think. I think we're about caught up on actual advice for the game, so... Um, excellent, excellent. Let's uh, see some other comments. Go James ahead. James gave us uh, three pounds and wants to know if we can get some Australian John when playing. Uh, shh, Australian John! Oh, no! Oh, hello. Okay, rescue helicopter, that ain't gonna work out. And are you, are you okay? G'day, mate. Hello! No, it's Cockney. I get the two confused. <laughs> Hello! Oh, I'm amazing. Officer Marnie! That's amazing. He doesn't have a face any. Oh, no, he doesn't have a face anymore! Oh, stop looking, he's very... Stop looking! Why would you what? still be looking? Maybe she doesn't sure. look away in the, like, uh, surgery scenes in Supervet. You're, do you, are you going to do a dramatic fall? Okay, I'm just going to. I'm just going to go into boop. <gasps> yeah! <laughs> I was wearing it like a hat. <laughs> oh my god! Why does that amuse you so much? He was just briefly the physics. He was just completely on me, like he was like I was wearing a dead police officer hat. Ah. Uh, um. Nicholas points out the downside of the knife bug is that since it's uh, it registers more hits. Mm -hmm. From the knife and causes the knife to degrade faster than normal. So ah. Like frame rate. I guess yeah, that'd be very um, useful for for um uh, for speedrunners though, who do very little actual fighting. Um and yeah, the map marks rooms is red if they have items that can be picked up. Blue when cleared. Ryan uh, gave us another two okay. pounds and says it still works at sixty FPS, but it's not as powerful. Uh, and shout out to Blind Bills who gave us a hundred dollars. Oh wow. Uh, Thank you very much, Blind Bills. Builds. Builds. I'm just going to go in here. Yeah, sorry if I didn't say that right. Anyway, uh, Blind Bill says, I know they're not the best dollars, but thank you for the great content. Those are pretty damn good dollars, all things considered. <laughs> well, thank you very, very much indeed. We've got a bit of information here, obviously. You know, there was an outbreak of zombies. And, and they, oh, they, shit. they tried to barricade the station, but they got overwhelmed pretty de blood de fast uh yeah hence the whole business with you know the windows are broken there's loads of people outside this was kind of like the last holdout though in resident evil 3 which in the original version of this obviously shit can they come through doors claire claire they can come through doors now claire claire that's not fair grab the map grab the map and gtfo right go 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 bye loser Shout out to iMan7 who gave us 125 Philippine pesos and says it's 3 a.m. and I'm fixing printers. That sounds like the worst. I'm very sorry. Mm -hmm. Thank you for droning. F thank you for drowning. Thank out. you for droning on. No, <laughs> Thanks, Claire. Thank you for drowning out the sound of printers cycling. Excellent. That's that's good too. Okay, where do we want to go? I'm gonna, I'm gonna run down here. I feel like that guy might want to take out because he's kind of in the middle of a major corridor. Uh, where's the door I want to get into? Because he's, he's desperately trying to get into. Uh, wait, where is that door? Oh, is it literally this door right here? Fuck it, go, 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 go. That's locked. We're not going in that door as it turns out. Oh, can I still do a quick turn? Uh, oh, he, he didn't notice me. Okay, that door's locked. Can I just sneak past this guy? I might just be able to sneak past this guy. Hello. Don't worry. I want to be. I just want to be friends. West office getting here. And... Okay, for now. Grab gunpowder! Okay, so we're doing some ammo crafting, I'm guessing. Uses of gunpowder. Make handgun ammo for gunpowder times two. Acid route. High-grade gunpowder white plus gunpowder. Submachine gun ammo. High-grade gunpowder white 
times two. If there's not enough ammo left around the station, make good use of gunpowder. Different guns require different ammo. Pay attention when you're combining things, you won't get what you need. I'm pretty sure that guy didn't notice me. No, 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 no. Bye, 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 GTFO. Oh shit, the guy, they're coming up behind me now. There's more over there. Hello, are you coming in? Oh, yep, that guy's coming in. Rookie's first assignment. Leon S. Kennedy, we're putting you on a very special case for your first assignment. Your mission is to unlock your desk. The key to your success is wow. the initials of our first names. Input the... Leon had a crush, clearly. This is a very flirty first day message. What are you talking about? Your first mission is to unlock your desk. The key to your success is the initials of our first names. No. That, that sounds flirty to me. I okay. assume that it was his colleagues going like, you have to go through <clears throat> and like remember. I assumed it was our, as in like communal, the names of everybody who works there. Okay, so L uh, for Leon S. Kennedy and Lieutenant... Ah, that's L Lieutenant... L for Lieutenant. Uh, I really hope you're joking. <laughs> yes, obviously I'm joking, Thank you fuck. idiot. That's Marvin, so that's M. Uh, okay. So that's absolutely fine. Basically, your first task is to remember your fellow officers' names. You figure that out right. Good luck, Leon. <laughs> By the way, it might take a little work to get Scott to give you a straight answer. Oh, hang on. The issues of our... our well, he says our first name, so I'm guessing it's Marvin. So, uh, oh, hang on. When you say our first names, does that mean my and yours are the names of your colleagues? It says here, remember your fellow officers' names. That's literally what I just said! Yeah, but I don't listen to you. Uh, so, okay, it's M, but whatever Scott's name is. But he says, you, you, but we don't know what Scott's actual real first name is. I'm getting because it's not Scott. So that's fine. And uh, be glad you're not here, rookie. Okay, you're, you're coming up here. So, obviously, oh. Okay, there's also, there's three. There's three here. And, oh, wow, there's so many officers. Okay, there's like, there's apparently there's six officers. Okay, this guy we can just work around for the time being. Uh, also, have I checked that up there yet? Uh, I don't know whether that door to the main hall can be... No, that's a spade door, so I don't have the key for that yet. So just keep keep on the other side of the table from this guy while we just check around. They're a little bit faster than I'd ideally want them to be. How are we doing in... The chat is very confused by the fact that you took the very mild hazing as flirtation, by the way. That's flirting. That's totally Honey, flirting. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, you think Nicole wasn't flirting with me back that time, so what do you know about flirting? Yeah. Just double Wasn't that at work? Yeah, it was. But she was totally into me regardless. Uh, okay. I don't think we, we're getting... I don't think we're going through that way just yet. So there's a safe. There's a locked desk. We can't get in there yet. But now that guy's in here. Let's try... Let's just get out of here. And this should be... If this is open... Ooh, this looks good. This looks very good. But I'm guessing we're going to be needing all sorts of keys before we can do anything in here. Now, how far can they follow me? Can that guy just keep following me indefinitely? That sounds like they does, because I swear I just heard a bang there. Storage locker terminal memo. It appears the keypad to the lockers is missing a few keys. I suggest the person responsible for this mess find some spare keys and fix this mess right now. Uh, you know who you are, bastard. Who else would flip up this badly? Okay. Uh, John, the names are on the desk. Are they? Yeah. Okay, I feel like we just should take out this guy so we've got a free pass at that office. I feel like this guy should just go down. This, because this, this guy is the guy that's pr causing problems. Damn it. So we're just going to take you out. Also, he's kind of stuck in a corner, which is really convenient. And... Come on. Down you go. And... Oh, hang on. How many more people are here? There's... Oh, okay. That's actually vending machine guy. There was, there was a different police officer. There was a different oh police God, officer here. Okay, he just went down very easily. Oh, hang on. That's a gun. Okay, he stopped getting up again. I'm going to take this as... I'm going to say this is good news. I'm going to say this is all good news. Okay. They've been taken out. That means I've now got free access to that office and uh, to this. So, enter. So, okay. 
Ah, so I need to enter the number that's written here onto the terminal. But the keys are missing. Okay. And this one needs a special log. But that's a grenade launcher with some form of rounds. Are you guys dead yet, by the way? Yeah. Um, hmm. people, are, people would like you to try stomping on the zombies' heads. How? I don't know. To like I don't know how them. to do. Okay. Uh, okay, so I can. Uh, so I'm missing two and three. So therefore, I can't do any of the two zeros. Uh, but one o oh, one uh, one o oh, one's already open. Anything above one o oh, four or above, I could open. So I can now open one o oh, six and one o oh, nine. Okay, so we can get ourselves some free stuff. This is why I wanted this room clear. One zero six. Enter. Alright, that gets me something, whatever that is. Uh, and one, zero, nine. Okay. That gets me that. That's handgun ammo. I won't say no. So, okay, I've, I've not made a loss of ammo on this occasion. Because, you know, I get... What is that? A roll of film. Okay. Keep it take that somewhere where I can develop it. If I can find, like, a room that's, like, the film development room. Because this was set back in time when that's a thing that exists. Yeah, there's a dark room just around the corner here. Good. We can take the film there. That's good. So locker's terminal and we need a special card for that. I think this hallway should be safe for now, therefore. Because we took out Watts-his-face. And that means we can also check down this corridor, but nothing there as far as I can see. And this room should now be clear, because the only guy in here was the guy who already came in. Who are you? Who are you and what are you doing in here? Okay, the names are on the desks. Okay, John, advice for shooting your gun when you need to shoot your gun. Yes. You need to wait a tiny bit in between shots so that the reticle can recenter, and you need to wait until it's like it gets smaller. Okay. For maximum accuracy. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so hang on. Uh, Marvin and... Is that Rita? Okay, I'm just going to keep... It, stay on the move here. Stay on the move. Uh, Claire, write these down. All right. Uh, so Marvin and Rita for M and R. I think we just saw there. Yep. Uh, this guy doesn't have... I assume that's... That's not... Oh, this one doesn't have a label on it. That's definitely... Yeah, Rita Phillips. So we've got M and R... But we don't know who that guy at the back is. And you just went over there. And then on this side we've got David, so D. Okay. Uh, David D. Keep going this way, keep going this way, keep going this way. And then Elliot and Neil. So D, E, and N. Or possibly... Just writing the actual names, that's easier. Yeah, that's, that is faster. Uh, the problem we've got here is where's the label for... For this guy. Uh, I don't see it. It might be on the... Oh, it's down there on the ground. Okay, just let this guy come around to me and then we'll see it in a second. So, can I... Uh, it, is time frozen right now? I really hope time's frozen right now. Uh, so, if it's D, E, and N... Edwin. It's M, R, D, E, N... M R D E or N. Yeah, but these they don't actually have. This doesn't there's have. There's an M. Yeah, there's not full alphabet though. But there's an M. Huh? There's an M and an N. I think that's the wrong side though, isn't it? Because they were on the other side. Oh, but... Shit, you didn't tell me to write down the sides and stuff. Ned. All right. Okay. Yeah. So now I just need to M. Yeah. Time is frozen. So now I just need to M R because not all of them have all options. So just keep going around here. <laughs> And, oh, oh, uh, George. So, M, R, and G, right? Yeah. Okay. We're just going to keep this guy dancing. Everything's fine. M, R, and G. And I think time is going to be frozen, so we're just going to let you go around here. We don't need to fight you. There's literally no point. And freeze time. So, M, R, G. Boom! We got access to Leon's desk. And that gets me a speed loader. Can I combine that? I've now got a slightly improved terrible gun. It's still it's still terrible, presumably. Maybe it's better than it was. 
And now, basically, goodbye, stupid loser. So long. Right, round to the dark room for those photos. And there's more things around over there. Just, just ignore, 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 ignore. And there's also wooden boards. Okay, can't pick those up right now. Right, getting over here and get into the dark room momentarily. Have to check in what's going on here. Medicinal benefits of herbs. I know what's going on here. Yeah, blue herbs are poison. Fine. And combine with red. Yep, that's absolutely fine. Except, ah, uh, blue and red herbs together strengthens your constitution. So it gives you more armor or health or whatever as a temporary thing. So there are no yellow herbs, but blue herbs have got a new trick. Okay. So, use roll of film in that commemorative photo. Okay, that's a king holding a book and a key. Um, well, all right then. I, I, maybe that's important down the line. I will have to take a red herb. That is a bloody useful. And yes, combining items. This isn't my first video game. It's fine. There we go. Mixed herbs. So now if I get into trouble, I'm good. Uh, and I'm on kind of yellowy, orangey danger for now. Film contains evidence. Do not leave out. We should be good for the time being, though. Now I can turn on the lights. Oh, that's better. I like it when the lights are on. It makes me feel happy about life. Uh, let's just put the gunpowder away for now. And let's put away... Yeah, I don't need all these health items. I think I'm fine with gun, ammo, combat knife, and a little bit of healing and a big bit of healing. Yeah, people in the chat are uh, confirming your terrible gun is still terrible, just faster at reloading now. It's just faster at being terrible. Hooray! Faster at reloading. That's good. I'm, I'm glad about that. Mm -hmm. Still, at least ammo stacks very generously, and I've got enough, um, I've got enough uh, stuff to make some basic ammo, but I feel like I'd rather... I'd rather save it up for, like, when I pick up the the special white uh, high-quality gunpowder so that I can make, like, grenade shells when I get the key card. And do I need... Uh, no, I don't need any of that stuff. I've just mm. basically got a free save right there. Okay, we're good. We're good, okay. we're good, we're good. Uh, Karenath gave us $20 and says, Stand up difficulty gives you tons of ammo. Uh, so as long as you're on shooting into the walls, you should be fine. Don't over-conserve and just kill most of the zombies. At least clear all the hallways so you can move fast when being chased. Clear hallway. Well, that's what I've done there. I've, is, take, yeah. I've taken out that guy in the hallway. This is interesting. Like, slightly uh, different advice from what we've been seeing. But, uh, yeah, of course. Uh, well, you know, the, the thing about a good game, game, and this is well regarded as a good game, is, yeah. like, different people are going to have a different take on what works or doesn't and you work. you can do it in slightly different ways. Yeah, exactly. Okay. What have you got, by the way? You've just got some ammo. Yeah, I've got enough ammo for the time being to take out a few zombies. In fact, as I'm now sitting on one mixed herb and that, I'm just going to get myself... I'm just going to do a little bit. I'm going to get myself back into fine. And those uh, and ammo stacks, they there. stack up to 60. Oh, wow, that's actually pretty generous. That yeah. feels good to me. Uh, oh, I see about, yeah, the reticles going down. And you just fell down really fast. Oh, no, you didn't, no, you didn't, no, you didn't, no, you didn't. Bye. Oh, dear. He, he went for a bit of a lunge there. Dear, I flipping dear. And now he's gone down again. Okay, now. Get in the side on. Get that. Screw you. Screw you. Screw how, you. How many, knife, how many knife things does he need when he's down? I don't know, but... Well, I'm asking chat. Chat will tell us. I just feel better when I'm knifing him. Okay. If knife, then that's good. All right, because knives are like wives. They're good things. And may save your life on occasion. Oh, there's an old I need a twist, I need a valve to turn off the steam puzzle. Oh, oh video games. Video games. Ah, fuck you! Ah, fuck, fuck, fuck you! <laughs> Fucking hell! Portable safe. Okay. 
What's a portable safe? I don't know what that is, but all right. I mean, maybe that... It sounds like it's something that would expand your inventory, but we can ask people. <laughs> Stop, John, he's already dead. Okay, so... Oh, my God. Shout out to Magnificent Mobius. It says, John, I spilled my tea, damn it. We're very sorry. Okay, this is just simple push the buttons in the right order thing. Okay, hang on. Claire, you, you can you can just carry on with this. I I'm just okay. gonna solve cool, cool, this cool, puzzle. Cool, 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 cool. Shout out to Josh who gave us five pounds and says, I'm giving you this money so that John never has to turn to selling bees as nature's douches to make an income. <laughs> Uh, shout out to Jinx, who uh, gave us 20 Swedish Corona and says, I'm so sorry I can't mod today, but Embe is visiting and we both say hi. Oh, hello, Embe. Hello, Jinx. Hello, Jinx and Embe. Right, I got a spare key, which you may nice. recall we needed for the safe room. Yes, indeed. And uh, shout out to Alex, who gave us $10 and says, well, I voted for this stream, so I suppose I at least owe you a little support for putting you through a horror game. I hope you can at least enjoy this one. What? You what? I'm not having a good time already, all right? I'm not having a good time. Oh, but that's nice. You can actually um, fast combine even when you've just picked something up, so that's nice. Um, mm -mm. You're not getting up, are you? You're not getting up yet. Right, I'm going back down to that room and picking some stuff that I want out of that. Presumably now I've barricaded that window. You can't... What the... Oh, no, you still can't get into the wood. Fuck you, you stupid idiot. Yeah, that's right. I may feel pretty dumb now. Ah, <sighs> Good. Alright, well, people are confirming the small portable safe is just a small portable safe. Yeah, it's just a question of, uh, okay, we need it's to... It's not for expanding your inventory. No. Uh, though it sounded good. But anyway, shout out to Henry, who uh, gave us five pa five dollars. Sorry. Henry says, hello, John. Any plans to play Ultimate General Civil War or Ultimate Admiral Age of Sails or Dreadnoughts? Neither of those ring a bell. I'm not sure I'm familiar with either of them. Mm. Uh, I will say the one strategy game that's coming up at some point soonish that I might give a look at if we can get some code is there's Romance of the Three Kingdoms. I think it's bloody 16 because no game presumably gets to 16 without being at least, you know, half good in some capacity. So, <clears throat> okay. My options are if I put it on three, then all I get is vault is number uh, 103. That gets me a brand new knife because my new knife's getting low. If I put it on two, however... All of a sudden, I can get myself uh, 102, which I think that looks like a grenade of some description in there. Um, but I can also help myself to... Can't do 203, because that would be not right. But 208 would get me uh, flame rounds, but I don't have the grenade launch yet. So in which case, I'm actually better off putting it on 3 and taking the new knife. Uh, so put that use on here. I mean, I feel like I could just push the button with my finger. Like, why can I not just push the button with... Why can't I just do that? Why can't I just push the button? What, what's so magic about a spare key? All right, fine, whatever. Uh, 103 is now open, so that's a new presumably full condition knife. Which, as I get a bit knife happy, is a good thing. Get a bit, I get a bit excited sometimes with my knife. Uh, yeah, that's a full condition knife. Okay, so that's good. I assume you use the yeah you use the low condition one first by default. So okay, we got some good stuff there. I'm pretty happy with uh, I'm pretty happy with that. We've cleared well officially we haven't cleared the west office. There's still a guy in there, so screw it. I'm not bothering. I'm just gonna keep going up and up and up while I'm passing by. I like this idiot who's now just stuck here outside the wood and can't get through. <laughs> He's great. I'm going to drop a safe just in case this all goes completely tits up. Uh, and then I'm going uh, then I'm going upstairs, the top of the stairs beyond where that guy was. I'm pretty happy with the start, though. I'm pretty happy with the start, all things considered. Yeah, you just try and get to me, you stupid idiot. Oh, dear. Right, Claire, all yours. Yeah, uh, uh, if, if anyone hasn't seen the, the bot yet, um, I have a huge list of all the donations and I'm going to read them all out, but we are... This is uh, maybe not the best game for uh, reading donations, so... Uh, well, there's there's, 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 there's have... backtracking and quiet moments, right, so right, carry right, on. If these haven't come up, they will. I've yeah. got a list. Uh, shout out to Nathaniel, who gave us $5 and says, I cannot believe that I missed being a jester in Doctor's Dungeon on uh, Sunday. 
And now I miss John's terrified screams. Don't worry. <laughs> Died said it's fine. Oh, it's um, another one. There's loads. Of, now there's okay. There's multiple paddocks with things. And Nathaniel, of course, also says if you need, if you find a dog, it'll probably be a zombie goal. A zombie goal. Hey. Oh dear. <laughs> All right, we got a key, which is good. Uh, now we've got a good key. Yeah, uh, shout out to Evil John Clone 666 who uh, gives that? ten dollars and says I've been uh, away. I've been quite busy working at Amazon packing stuff since early December. Love you guys, uh, and you know from us and also everybody else who hates Christmas shopping and he does it last minute. Thank you, and we're very sorry. Sorry, that's that's my bad. Thank you for your service. Yes. Uh, shout out to Steve who gave us five pounds and says, Hi guys, happy new decade and all that. Great to see you on Final Render's charity stream. More Fallout 76 nuclear winter, please. Now, and wants to know how is Tabby getting on? Good news. Tabby is getting on super well. For those of you who have followed the, uh, the drama, saga and the, the flipping drama. drama. It's just not drama, it's chronic illness, but sh I mean, fine. Our cat's had issues over the past year. And, Tabby has uh, many issues. Yeah, well, she's an older lady, you know. She's an old lady cat, it's fair enough. Uh, so anyway, we uh, we had a checkup at the vet on Monday, and the vet was very, very happy with her. She, she was. She put all the weight back on that she needed to. She's not over four kilograms. It's been a while since she's very been over four healthy. kilograms, which is great. Very healthy girl. Uh, and we're all very happy, and we're not going back to the vet for, you know, six months to a year. Which is great. Yeah. So she doesn't get put in cat prison and carried oh there. Oh my god. I call the cat carrier cat prison. Claire doesn't approve. It's the fucking worst. Stop doing that. <laughs> god. Anyway. Um, and shout out also to Source of Being who uh, was asking in the chat if you have any plans uh, to do uh, no kill runs of uh, New Vegas DLC. Like Honest Hearts, uh, Dead Money, Old World Blues, and Lonesome Road. Some of them are the most interesting things in the world. Some of the DLC is like, it, it's structured a lot more. It's got a kind of a, a more clear theme. Like, yeah. it, it's it's got a more single singular atmosphere and vision behind it than the base game does. Like, Dead Money, there are very few, like, NPCs. For the most part, all the creatures you run into are just big, roary creatures who want to yeah. do bad things to you. Um... So, you know, it and Honest Hearts, there's a lot of creatures. It's this. I feel like the base game is well set up to kind of, so you've got a lot of flexibility to, you know, either do, like, no kill or do kill everything. The DLC is often not so interesting in that regard in the same way. So, I mean, I wouldn't say no, but, oh, hello. How fast can you get back here? Why, what's up? I've got something to show you. It's important. All right, I'm on my way. I'm going to guess it's Leon. Uh, okay, so we've got a few zombies dotted about. The numbers of zombies are starting to step up here. And uh, I've also now, yeah, I've now got myself a little key. So I can start actually... <laughs> Oop! Oh, fudge. Okay, uh, mild problems here. Mild problems. Uh, okay, screw you. Bye. Bye, zombies. Not fighting unless I have to. Bye. Uh, okay. Yes... Sarah, you are spoiling us. Uh, shout out to Sarah who gave us two dollars and says a puppy video on the Twitter. What? What? Unfortunately, you probably have to wait for a, a video until maybe the end. It depends how long it is. But uh, yes, I'm going to share. Um, probably have to share the like actual tweet with people rather than um, shit the. F file like i normally do when it's a photo but uh okay so if i move that shelf then i can basically create a thing i can hop over i'm guessing i'm not allowed to just hop over this right no this is now too much fine just need to get down oh, no. and excuse me hold hold still over there hold still over there also watch out because okay i'm just going into an area with lots of zombies right now which is going to be okay you're now officially in my way which is a problem. Okay, so you can you can fire while moving, but the accuracy takes a massive mm. hit. I see how that fits together. And there's oh, there's so many. Oh, I, uh, I got a critical there. Head just straight up exploded. That's good. Uh, actually, maybe if I just lead them around in a circle, that might be a good thing. But yeah, if I go for the headshot, at least you go for the what was it? Ten percent critical. People said you've started falling backwards, which is a good sign. 
Uh, you, why, why are you all clustered around here? Uh, okay, I think this is a good opportunity to make a bit of a run in this direction. Oh, he made a grab for me, but can I get... Yeah, okay. I can use this key to open that door. So that gets me through to... That gets me back into here. Okay, so now I can go back to Marvin if I want to. I kind of want to check out the library while I'm here. Are you going to come through to the main room? Are you not allowed to? Oh! <laughs> Everything's fine. I just kind of teleported straight through him. Uh, where are you right now? <laughs> And oh. uh, shout out the source of being who says now John's moved from uh, interrupting Claire to interrupting himself. Damn straight. <laughs> okay, so I need some form of lever to get that up first. Where are the Where are the zombies? You're right there, are you? Okay, well that's fine. I'll just loop around here. Some of you seem to go down very easily, which is good news. I can get through here and aha! Hang on, I just need to check my. My notes, because the pamphlet, uh, the note I picked up, will tell me what to enter uh, in, yeah, the officer's notebook. So I'm just going to check that and then enter that here, because this is the lion sculpture. So Claire, oh yours. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, shout out to Travis, who uh, says, thank you to John for introducing me to two of my most played games on my Switch, Darkest Dungeons and Slay the Spire. Both excellent games. Okay, I'm confused because I was expecting Lion Reef Bird to be an option, but Lion Reef Bird is not. There's Lion. Maybe it's backwards. Lion. There's Bird. There's Reef. Is that acceptable? That's not acceptable. This is definitely... Oh, this is a unicorn! That, that would explain why it wasn't working. <laughs> unicorn statue. Fish anyway. scorpion vase. Okay, better. Anyway, so um, thank you for introducing Travis to games he likes. Ah, yes, Slay the Spy. You just said. Yes, and Darkest Dungeon. Yes. Well, thank. They're they're both damn good games. Yes, That's, they are. They're very good games. <laughs> uh, shout out to Mr. T who gave us ten polished slotty and says Mr. T wants to know your location. It, it, it it's on YouTube. The channel's many a true nerd. You've probably already subscribed to it, so it's <laughs> fine. Uh, and shout out to uh, 23 Reven who uh, gave us $5 and says, So if a, if a zombie takes oh. a... Br oh dear, we're getting into logic puzzles here. So, yes. So if a zombie takes a bite out of a Brit, will it taste more like tea or like a biscuit? Interesting. I, well, I mean, I don't know, because biscuits are crunchy, mm -hmm. and tea is liquid, so, you know. Yeah, d d d it's, a d it's a difficult question. The, the, none of that feels like a chunk of human meat flesh. Yes. So, I don't know. Okay, where's Blokey McGiblets? He's over there. I'm going to say biscuit, just because biscuits are good, so I kind of wish that was true. Excuse me, just pick a side and stick to it. All right, we're just going to go around here. And now we're just going to go back to Marvin and see what he wants. Oh, hang on, there's a book here. And that's that's a red book. Okay, wait. I'm guessing we just need to examine that because books in Resident Evil just need to be opened. They typically need to be opened. Oh, it's a piece of plastic shaped like a book. It was being held by a hand at some point. Okay, that needs to be added to it, like a statue or something. Was the photo... Does that photo that we saw... The photo we developed. King statue holding a book. Okay. Yeah. I'm guessing this book. So we need oh, to find a statue of a king. Okay. Now I'm going to go check for that first aid kit. Apparently I just walked straight past. Uh, And oh, there's also lion statue right here. I'll get back to that in a second. Claire, all yours while I check for that first aid spray. Yeah, and Reven also says uh, enjoy, uh, enjoy uh, RE Make 2. A great game. Check your map to see if you've missed anything. I do, yeah. I try yeah, and no, use the map. No, that was a bit yeah. earlier, so I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, this one um, this one took a little while. Uh, shout out to Volkani, who gave us uh, five. I think that's a Romanian Lao. Uh, and says, John, if you hear a fleshy sound, stay still. Stay I'm not sure still? If they want I'm, not sure, that's, I'm not. not sure that's good advice. Yes. I'm not convinced by that advice. Oh, don't worry. He can get himself killed just fine. I could get myself without killed without advice. any problem whatsoever. Uh, anyway, uh, shout out to Jade who gave us five pounds and says, Hi John, hi Claire, how are you? 
My friend Kurt is watching. He'd love a hello from you both. Much love. Hello, Kurt. Hello, Kurt. And we've still got keys as need to be used over here. I'll actually get rid of this key as soon as I can. Just, like, get the key done. That way I can just toss it, which would be very useful. That's a dial lock. That's Jack. That's the line sculpture. So I can go and take care of that in a second, assuming I've got the... Yeah, I've got space for that. I'll do the line sculpture now. Claire, all yours while I'm describing the line medallion. Sure, shout out to Jason, who uh, gave us $5 and says, Hey John, if you like relaxing games, when are you going to play Stardew Valley? Uh, it's an interesting one. I'd like to do like the multiplayer at some point, but I haven't really decided like who or what exactly how I'm going to do that. But it, it did pick up a multiplayer mode at some point. So that sounds kind of like uh, a fun thing to do. So uh, yeah, that, that would be kind of fun. Mm -hmm. Lion, Reef, Bird. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, Indiana Matt gave us ten dollars and says you all are the best. I've got to head to work, but good luck, John. Oh, well, thank you very, very much indeed. I hope you have a lovely day at work. Lion medallion. Got myself two medallions right here. Can I just slap them straight into uh, the woman's holes over here? <laughs> oh, <laughs> the, the statue woman, Claire. There you are. Are you still? Come here. What is it? Take a look. Gonna be oh my Leon. god, he made it. You know him? Yeah, it's Leon. Uh, Kennedy, I think? Oh, uh, the rookie. Thought he looked familiar. You can make it to that courtyard. To the second floor, east side. Okay. Thanks, Marvin. I'm on it. Mm -hmm. Just a slightly creepy grin on her face there for a second. Here we go. So I can get rid of them to clear out the inventory space right now. So use. There's Lion. That's okay. So really was... Just put number two in. Yeah, <clears throat> right. we're not out of here yet. That's cute that each one actually does its own unique thing, so you can kind of see you're making progress. That's fun. Uh, and this door was locked, wasn't it? Yes, this door's locked. Will that be the last use of this key? If so, that'd be great. So that gets me back into the west office if I need to. And this, then just hang on. That's Claire. Yes. Okay, I'm standing right here, in this light. Now, if I step through to here, <laughs> that's that's not how that's not how light works. That's not even. <laughs> that's like when you're watching somebody on YouTube and like you know they clearly have a, a cut where they they've cut like two minutes of talking, but the light has changed in between. And Amazing. That's that's yeah, that's interesting. That's interesting yeah. right there. That that was just a thing. Uh, where was that? Where's that cooking first aid spray? People said Mason first aid spray. I've no idea where it is. That I've just walked past it, but it's clearly there's something in here because the game's saying like, "Oh, you haven't got everything in here yet." But uh, I, I don't know. I don't know where it is precisely. I'm gonna put that book in here for the time being, anyway. I've got I've got enough stuff on me, so I'm just gonna reload, drop a save, and then we'll get over into that corridor where you said to go. So Claire, be yours. Yeah, shout out to uh, Drummer Rhett, who gave us $2 and says, Don't tell my boss, but I am watching this at work. <gasps> tell our boss quickly. Find out who our boss is. Tell him. No. Okay, we don't do that then. I not a snitch. Okay, Claire is not a... Claire disapproves of snitches and scabs. Yes, that is very true. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out to EJ, who gave us $15 and says, Hello, John and Claire. You're distracting me from my work right now, so I'm going to throw some money at you and be on my way. Excellent. We're glad. We're glad to distract you. No, I think they, they, they said they were going to stop getting distracted. Well, don't do that. Stay. Be distracted. We're hearing about. Let's, let's have a chain of people who apparently are just kind of here listing instead of doing their job today. That's what we need. Well, but I mean, it depends what your job is. There's plenty of jobs you can do. Also, if you your job is like else. a surgeon, yes, please don't. Oh, okay, but that's. That's not what I meant. Like back when I was doing data entry, I used to listen to like a lot of podcasts. Pretty sure I listened. I watched like an entire season of uh, Project Runway Canada. Wow. When I was at work my first year, I was doing data entry. You know. Anyway, shout out to Princess Leia who gave us ten dollars uh, and says I'm currently at work, so I will watch this more thoroughly later. Thank you for all the awesome content you guys put out. <coughs> 2020 has been a great year so far. Excellent. We've got a bunch of it. I th I'm so happy with the videos we got on the channel this week. Yeah. We got some of the real highlights. 2019. Right. That's a grenade launcher right there. That's the weapon like a key card. And on top of that. Uh, yeah, redstone. Devilry lies in beauty shadow. Jewelers turn something, 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 cursed thing. Right, let's get the cursed thing. Because look at this, Claire. 
Yeah. Uh-huh. Look at this. Aha! Uh-huh. The statue where the book is supposed to go. Uh, we need to, we need an arm. We need to put the arm back on first. So yeah, grab arm, put arm on statue. And now, okay, I'm going to go get the book. And on top of that, I'm going to go get the shotgun. Uh, or sorry, the grenade launcher. I'm guessing it would be a shotgun if it was Leon. Because typically, I don't know why this is. Resident Evil as a franchise has typically gendered grenade launchers. Grenade launchers are, are you a... F- kidding me? Grenade launchers are a woman's weapon, Claire. They're for girls. Jill Valentine gets the grenade launcher. Okay. Claire Redfield gets the grenade launcher. Grenade launchers are for girls. But is it pink? Because if it's not pink or purple, how will I know how to use it? Well, there are like red flame rounds for it. So kind of maybe a little bit. But that's, it's, it's, I'm not kidding. There is, it's actually, there is the old style Resident Evil gendered grenade launch that always gave them to the female protagonist, whereas the male protagonist typically got shotguns instead. Because shotguns are manly and big and penisy. Yeah, well, I was going to say. I was wondering, I've, I've never been sure if that was intentional, but it has always been a thing. It's always been a thing. So that's, that's that. Uh, okay, hang on. So because, um, how do I loop back round to where I was press room watch no not not that not in that direction yeah if i cut through the yeah if i cut through the west office i can get straight to the safety deposit room so that should be night there right so i'm going to go and get the grenade launcher right now claire you should have a moment while i'm just running over there yeah thank you very much uh shout out to um axel fact axel fact Mm, i'm not sure if i said that right but uh they gave us five dollars and says, hi, from the Midwest of the US. Based on the terrain, open carry, and the fact that everyone is desperately trying to escape, this definitely <laughs> takes place in Ohio. Oh, I feel like that's a bird on Ohio right there. Yeah. I feel like I feel like there's some interstate burning going on here. Mm-hmm. In which case, I think I'm close. Cause isn't Ohio, I think Ohio is only like one state over from, um, from Virginia. So and that's Appalachia. So I feel like I'm not a million miles off with what I said previously. So here we go, in here. Now slap cart in and we get ourselves a a girl launcher. Sorry, grenade launcher. There we go. So grab all this, kaboom. Grab. I mean, it is not like a much (coughs) less phallic weapon. I mean, it's smaller. It's smaller, like, you know, it's it's vaguely fallopian perhaps. No, it's not. Okay, it's not, no. It's really not. It's not, but also, you know... Oh, it's one it's- shot only, then you reload. Wow, okay. But it, it hits like a truck. So now we've actually got a heart hitting weapon. So if we need something that hits like a flipping truck, we've now got that to hand, which is good. Also, I don't know what happened to the guy in here, because we never killed him. But he just seems to be gone. Maybe he's stuck in that office over there. I'm just going to leave him in there if he is. That's fine. Claire! I mean, yeah. Uh, as the chat points out, if you're going if, if, if to have a you know, gendered weapon, you might as well have a grenade launcher, it's pretty cool. Isn't Ohio one step over from that? Isn't there like, isn't there like the Ohio boating company in Fallout? I don't know, my only knowledge is Fallout 76. So, I swear there was like the Ohio boat hire on the river. There was like the border between Virginia and Ohio, but maybe I'm thinking of a different state. I may be thinking of a different state. Right, stack them. I've already got the book. Uh, I've got, yeah, and I've put the very weak knife away because I'm just going to go over to the, the main one. So on that front, we're now in much better shape. We're now actually feeling, I'm feeling pretty good. All right, the zombies can bring it on now. They can bring it the flip on. Clap. Wait, where did you think Ohio was? Right next to Virginia. Like to the, no, to the it's west. No, li- it's like, <laughs> it's like really up from Virginia. It's really north from Virginia. Is it? What's right next to Virginia, like to the, to the, um, the west? Okay, wait a second. U.S. States. What am I thinking of? Uh, okay, what were you asking about? Virginia? Yeah, Virginia, then go west. Um, west of Virginia, then west go west. West of Virginia, then Ohio. Yeah. Yeah, but that's super north. That's like next to Pennsylvania. Okay. Well, that Pennsylvania is pretty close by to West Virginia. I know that's true. Right. They're all close together, but it's super far north. I'm not convinced statues would actually do this. Like, Ohio has a border with Canada. Does it? Wow, that's really north. Yeah. Okay. 
So now I've got a scepter. I, I did all of that to get a scepter. It's not a hundred percent sure. Yeah, people find it very funny that you don't know that West of Virginia is what West Virginia. Yeah, but what's west of that? It's not the cocky Pacific Ocean. What's directly well, Virginia, to the west? Virginia, West Virginia, then Ohio and Kentucky. Oh, Virginia's west of West Virginia. No, West Virginia would be west of Virginia. Yes, that's what I'm saying. So yes. what's further west? Oh my god, look at the sodding map. West Virginia. Where's, wait, wait, where's, where, where's West Virginia? Oh, it is Ohio! I was right! So I basically, said that! What you're saying you just is, don't I'm... listen to me! So I'm just right, basically, is what we're saying oh here. My, my God, knowledge of the US is perfect. Perfect. You just weren't listening to me. I said that to you. It's Virginia, then West Virginia, then Kentucky and Ohio. Mm -hmm. I'm a little bit concerned that we're looking at liquors sooner or later. Oh. Okay, well, that helicopter just arrived. <laughs> helicopter just showed up. It's not looking, not sounding great for the helicopter. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, helicopter just... Well, cocky done. I needed this corridor, you daft bastard. People are pointing out that there is a lake in between uh, Ohio and Canada, so it's kind of like saying that Manchester has a border with Ireland. Yeah. I feel like the Irish Sea's a bit bigger than that. A little bit, anyway. I don't know. They have fairly big lakes up there. Okay, so the, the, that's 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 a no-go. We're going back outside. Oh, we're going back outside. We're not even going to bother investigating the pilot. Oh, now we are. Now we're approaching from this angle we care. Claire? Just standing next to him. Oh, hi, Claire. Leon! I'll be right there! The game does have good wet leather effects. Oh, fudge. That's very on fire. That's going to be a problem. Leon, we really gotta stop meeting like this. Are you all right? Police chopper, it just came out of nowhere. Yeah, I'm fine. I take it you don't have the key. No, I don't. It's good to see your face, though. How are you holding up? I am hanging in there. Hell of a night, huh? <laughs> yeah. Did you find your brother? I did, actually. He's... <laughs> It's a weirdly flirty conversation, Claire. Just Not the time. Get any worse. Leon, you should get going. Especially Don't as worry, Leon's more me. into Ada. Get Leon's into safe. Claire. No, Leon, seriously, they're getting through the fence. Please, just go. We're gonna make it. Both of us. He says walking direct. I'd love it if he just started, because he was looking back at you, he just walked straight to a zombie at this point. That'd be brilliant. Uh, Marvin, this is bad. I've got zombies everywhere. Marvin? Marvin, are you there? Marvin? Oh, Marvin's turned. Marvin's done the thing where he turns. So that's good. And, ah, we've got ourselves cutting tools. Sweet. Okay. So I'm guessing this is going to take us in. Oh, this is going to take us into... Remember that corridor I ran for and didn't bother killing any of the zombies Yay. in? Yeah, yeah, so we're going to be yeah, we're yeah. going to be we're going to be back in there now. Now uh, now we're back in there. So that's good. Oh, that's It's a shame you didn't find that cutting tool before talking to uh Leon about how none of you had the key to the fence thing that was right there. I'm not leaving bullets behind. So, okay. I'm just going to drop the just discard that. Yeah, I'll just leave that be. I need a second stack of handgun ammo because I'm full up, which is good. That's a good sign. Where are the zombies? Where are the zombies in here? They seem to be not causing a huge amount of trouble yet. Okay, you're just hanging out in there, which is fine. So that means I can I can I can cut through this door and take use that as a shortcut to bypass the corridor <clears throat> that's probably got problems in it. Unless of course the zombies in here. I've, I've got a bad feeling about, like... Oh, yeah, I've got a bad feeling about, one, downed officer. Two, window that I have no wood to go and deal with. Um, can I get rid of the... No, I can't get rid of the cutters. Okay, so we're gonna... We're gonna be... Maybe we don't want to be, like... Okay, we just want to basically not be in here for long. Just quick as we can, grab everything. Oh, round handle. That's useful. I'm, I'm completely out of storage space. Oh... Fudge, what do I want to get rid of? All of this is potentially of use. 
Uh, get Just get out of here. I need to go do some inventory management. What's that, by the way? That's electrical part. That's also useful. Uh, that needs to be undone. Okay, now this door is open. That gets me back over to here. Oh, no, I can't. Cock. Cock. Claire. Claire, we got... That. Okay, explode. Screw you. That didn't kill them. Claire. Claire, we got... We got so many... Claire, we got problems. We got problems. We got problems. Screw you. Okay, this has got to be... Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. What the hell is up with you? There. there. Run. Fudge. 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 Claire, I've made many mistakes. Um... Okay, so we've got into the stage where I just start opening fire on the zombies because fuck the zombies, quite frankly. Okay, uh, is anyone else left in here? Okay, everything's fine. There's, what was that? Oh, there's more zombies coming. But most, many of them are on fire and dead now, which is good. Okay, just fuck you. Oh, you just, that one just fell over. <laughs> I don't know what killed him, uh, which is, but this is all fine. What's, I do not have space for this. Okay, where's where are you? You're coming in this direction. Okay, basically, uh, fuck you. You're down. Okay, start knifing them. You're back up on your feet, are you? Someone's back up on their feet. You're. Oh, did they say crawlers were no threats? He was trying to get back up again. That they said crawlers were no threat. He just bit me in the leg. Okay, we're fine. Everything's under control now. By which I mean I've used a huge amount of ammo. But that everything's now fine. Because I've just I've just managed to make some space in my inventory. Yeah. I've just managed to make some space. Because I needed the electrical part to open the shutters. That was required. Is everything safe out here? Yes, everyone is dead. Okay, well, I've killed a lot of zombies at the bare minimum. That gets the shutter up. So now I can just go through there. Okay, now this area is... I think this area is fine now. This area is now safe. So now I can just do a quick bit of checking in this area. Ooh, they came out of this room. Aha, the zombies emerged from this room. So that gets me a little bit of wood I can just stash away, together with some more bullets and... Never mind, fuck the wood. Uh, just discard that, actually, because I don't have space for it right now. Discard. Yes. Buy. Bullets. Yes. Bullets. Okay, that I'd rather have bullets than wood. It's a shame that, yeah, back in Resident Evil Zero, the franchise very briefly picked up the ability to drop items and they were where you left them. But then that just sort of never showed up again. And I know that room's clear because it's uh, because it's blue. So I've already checked all of that. Fine. So now I can go and get the the round handle I need. Though actually now I can go and do... Okay, I just need to inventory manage. Claire, all yours while I just do that. Yeah, shout out to Solaris who gave us five Canadian dollars. Best dollars. Uh, and says, MATN shenanigans are good for the soul after dethawing 25 feet, foot of frozen water pipe. Well, it's a blizzard outside. Oh, that doesn't sound fun. No, not at all. That does not sound fun at all. Uh, Phobia One gave us five dollars and says, "Check out the check, check out sorry, Guild of Dungeoneering. Uh, that game is so you, John. You will absolutely love the witty ditties throughout the game." That came up at some point not long ago, or maybe it was mentioned in the last patron cast. I'm trying to remember now. Mm. I think it might have been. And yeah, might have, I, don't I think it, that maybe. might have been raised in the last mm -hmm. patron cast, if I recall correctly. So, yeah, live in. Uh, make a note. I'll, I'll give a look see at it. In fact, it presume if it's made the patron, I should have a list of it already, so it should be noted somewhere. There's the first aid spray, but I'm just going to store Aww. that. I have found the first aid spray. It was right by the door. Uh, and shout out to uh, Chitara, who's just showed up uh, and said, uh, I came in late because I was at a job interview and I was offered the job. Oh, sweet. You have a permanent position now, which is cool. That's cool. Congratulations. I've, I've never been good enough at a job interview to be offered a job, like, literally at the end of the interview. So clearly you are much more talented than me in that regard. Yeah, that's true. I don't think that's ever happened to me either. Mm. But uh... I think I'm actually pretty good at job interviews, but I've never been good enough to be straight up offered it, like, right there and then. 
Yeah, but, you know, maybe if you have a long commute to get home and they ring you when you get back. Ah, true, know. true, true, true. Uh, What's that, by the way? Ooh, a flash grenade. Okay, so ready that, toss it. And, uh, yeah, that's disorientating. So that's useful. Okay, so... Ah, sub-weapon is the LBs. That could be a knife or a grenade. I see how that fits together. I gotcha. Uh, so take that. And I think there was mention of... Uh, High powder. Can I blend that right now? Combine that. Acid rounds. Now I've got three acid rounds. So three shots of my grenade launch is pretty huge. So that's pretty good, actually. Okay. After a brief panic, there was a small, small amount of panic there. Like, just a little bit. Uh -huh. And... Wait, what? No, this guy. There we go. Combine there. There was a small amount of panic there. I think we're now fine. Just a wee little bit. I just had... What? Just a wee little bit of panic. I thought you were implying that a bit of wee came out, which might also have been true. <laughs> yes, I'm not I'm not going to go denying. Okay, well... Jesus. Well, all right, shout out to Alex, who gave us $10, and says, between the confusion about open carry gun, <clears throat> guns, whether Midwest is in hazing, I feel like John's going to learn more about America uh, from this than from Red Dead. <laughs> It's nice. not impossible. It's not impossible. Uh, Brian <laughs> gave us two euros and wanted to know don't revolvers usually have six chambers. They do, but this one is rubbish. It's true. I'm, I think it might be rubbish for reasons other than that. Also, Marvin's yeah. dead. Marvin? 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 Oh, yeah, Marvin's dead. Okay. I gotta hurry. Actually, no, he's not dead. He's looking pretty dead. When you say I gotta hurry... Find three medallions. Oh, we gotta... When you say hurry, you mean we need to find the medallions. Not we need to offer him any form of medical assistance. We just need to find the third medallion. Okay, the third medallion is... Based on what we saw, Officer's Notebook. There's gotta be... A woman pouring water. Somewhere. Uh, okay. So, woman pouring water. Now, based on everywhere I have and haven't been yet... Uh, yeah, I know I've got that valve. Uh, West Office, that's just a safe. That's just room, uh, things I can't access yet. Operations room, I don't actually know about that door. No, that door was a chain door. That door was a chain door. So if I loop back around to where I was, I can crack that open and get to the records room. That's a club door. No, maybe I can't get to the records room, but I might be able to unlock that because that's locked from that side. Okay, I'm going to do that because I'm pretty sure that was a chain lock door. And then I might be able to get the, the chain the chain snippers out of my inventory. I think I saw that in the distance. So I'm going to do that. So that's just a little bit out of the way. Uh, and I'm also just going to... I'm going to store the... Oh, flip. I'm going to store... Yeah, I'm going to store this. I'm going to store this for now. I don't need to be taking up three spots with a grenade launcher. I can come back and grab that later if I need to. Pla. Yeah, uh, shout out to Zachariah, who gave us $5, and says, John and Claire, I love you guys. Keep up the good work. Oh, we will do as best we can. Uh, and Jimothy gave us £5, uh, and says, another Wednesday stream to celebrate most of the week being over. Venisti vidisti lacrimavisti. I'm going to let you cause me. Oh, just got a little bit bitten. It's fine. Everything's under control. It's okay, who was just by the I was being bitten. Okay, just get past here. And then, oh, fudge, fudge, fudge. Uh, stab him. Oh, that was my good knife. No, I need to get that back. Fudge. And it, it bit me again. I just walked into him a second time. Okay, just, I need to, I need to get the flip out of dodge, actually. Uh, okay, this was definitely a thing here. I need to, I need to sort of get that back. Because that's my, that was my good knife. Good knife. Uh, okay. Right, uh, use that because I'm in danger. Wow, two shots and you're in trouble. Okay, um, we're gonna, we're gonna let him open the door. We're gonna let him walk him in. Okay, now some of them are on fire. And they're in trouble. Your head is burning. Whether that, how much that really matters, I don't know, but... You in trouble? You okay? Please get down on the ground. Right, I need to get my knife back out of this guy. There we go, I got my knife back. When you stab someone with a knife, you've actually got to pull it back out of them. Are you dead? I don't think you're getting up anymore. Nope, yeah. never mind. You're definitely getting- Ah, oh, fudge, fudge, stab him! 
Nice. I got the knife back. It's fine. It's fine. I got the knife she's, back. That didn't work. Yep. Yeah, she's 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 she, she's a zombie. She doesn't like feel pain. Fuck you. What the hell is up with you? It was just because it seemed like there was. Stay down on the ground. Okay. Because I've got the option to pull the knife out. I know she's dead. Yeah. Okay. That knife is now not in great shape. <laughs> Uh, everything is fine. Uh, I should reload the... Yeah, shotgun. Okay, so now we're onto acid rounds. But we've also cleared out an inventory space a little bit. So that's... Everything's under control. And yes, as I was hoping for, cutting tool can now be discarded. Okay. Discard. Good. What's through here? And what is this? That is an electronic gadget. That's the technical name. It's medium-sized. Okay. Nothing here. What's that, by the way? That is... That's a heart door by the Luxie of it. That's some wood, which I'm actually going to take. I finally just got cocked room for it. And this, I can now open. There we go. So now I've got a shortcut, and that is a grenade. Okay. I'm not 100% sure. Hang on. Claire. Yes, indeed. Locker room. C A P. Okay, I'm glad I'm paying attention with my legendarily high perception. I've just noticed a code. Okay, we've literally got to look on the whiteboards as we walk around. Cap. The locker room we're going to be passing through momentarily. Uh, I've written it down, don't worry about it. Oh, wow. Claire's, Claire's taking care of me. Also, apparently there's still something in the operations room, so I should just go back and double check that. Claire, I'm just going to search the room. All yours while I just check what's going on here. Yeah, shout out to James, who gave us £15 and says thanks for the great content. Oh, very, very welcome indeed. Thank you for the £15. And shout out to Thomas Richter, who gave us five Brazilian reais and says I can't watch the stream because I'm watching the best sci-fi movie of all times, Galaxy Quest. Uh, and here is some ice. It's 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 pretty good. It's pretty good. Galaxy Quest. Have you ever seen, ever seen Galaxy Quest? I'm not sure. Uh, it's the it's got Alan Rickman in it. Ooh. Not in his like his best role, but it does have an Alan. If, if, I'm pretty sure I'm thinking of the right one here. I'm pretty sure that's Alan Rickman. You can double check whether it's Alan Rickman. I think it's Alan Rickman. So I can yeah, go. no, that looks like Alan Rickman. I've but seen... uh, but wearing weird head makeup. Oh, you're yeah, no, back, I've, are you? I've seen you're, you were gone a second ago, but now you're back. Your presence is highly inconsistent. Anyway, I've not seen that. We should watch it. Yeah. Let's just get the flip out of dodge of this guy. So hang on, what was that? Oh, that was just a that was just a note, wasn't it? Yeah, that's just a note. That's fine. Uh, right. Go, 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 go. Run and back into the safe room. Okay, so now we know we're going back to the locker room and the showers where there's the um, where there's the ability to uh, use the valve. So okay, I'm just gonna make myself make sure I'm set up as I want to be uh, there. Store that. Grab some proper healing items. Uh, what's this thing do, by the way? Let's examine this. Uh, electronic gadget. Okay. A. Looks like it needs detonator with no battery. So if I could find a battery, I could use this to detonate the C4 up in the loft. Okay, so for the time being, it's useless. So I'm going to store that away for now. We'll pick that up later. And I should actually... I'm going to take both combat knives because they're both almost dead. So I'm just going to take both of them. Now I've still got two slots. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, so on that basis, I'm going to head back upstairs. Claire, all yours while I'm moving in that direction. Yeah, shout out to Athletic Geek who gave us $5 and says, I have to actually work this week. Enjoying all the videos. Here is something for Tabby. <gasps> for Tabby? But yes. she's the best one. Yes, I know. Best Tabby. Also, apparently I... there's a combat knife in the library, which Ooh. is bloody convenient. Uh, and shout out to Brian who gave us five euros and says, Oh, John, why do you do this to yourself? Don't get me wrong. We love your screams of terror. <sighs> But still, why? Aside from, like, a couple of jump scares, it hasn't been too bad. This game was never about the jump scares for the most part. Oh, yeah, you're still here. The, 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 the fat guy's still here. Excellent. Now, where's the where's the knife? It should be right here. Okay, we've actually got a full strength knife right there, which is pretty damn good. Uh, okay, so ignore him. Climb ladder. And then I've, I've now, I'm now carrying three knives. Which is arguably overkill. Mm -hmm. I might just have to dump one of the weak ones at some point. 
This gets me back into this area. I didn't see a battery in here. This is where the C4 is. But I'm pretty sure this is in the right direction for the, the locker room, isn't it? If I go back... Hang on, if I go back over here. Yeah, if I loop round over here, that's that's a dial lock. That's a west storage. That's the explosive barricade. Hang on, where was that? No, it was da it's down a level. It's down a level, but I, I should be able to go this way to loop down there. You know, there might be, I might well be ambushed on the way by whatever, but I think this should be okay. Claire, all yours. Yeah, uh, shout out to Shane, who gave us $20 and says, Hello, John, and our glorious leader, Claire. Hello, Shane, though you're wrong, but you know, hello anyway. Yeah, the glorious leader is Tabby, we are agreed on that. Uh, I joined the channel back with Fallout New Vegas No Kill, Kill Everything. Thank you for years and years of fun. As always, John, never change. Give Claire a raise and give Tabby some loves. Aww. Oh, oh you At said, least... oh, giving me a raise. I don't, I don't know about that. Right, lack, locker room. It was Cap, wasn't it? Yeah, huh? Cap. Uh, but people saying maybe, did you miss a valve that you need? Oh, shit, have I not brought the valve? Fuck! I didn't bring the one thing I needed! Forgot the valve, which is the one thing I needed. Sorry. It's okay. Everything's fine. Okay, the shortest way to get back would be go down the stairs and then take the shortcut through the west office. Yeah, that'll be the fastest way because I've already barricaded that window, so that should be that should be safe. Well, okay. while you no, hang on. There's isn't there a there's a chest here, isn't there? Isn't there a chest right here? Yes, there's a chest right here. That's even easier. Good. Okay, this won't take me a second to put right then. Okay, uh, shout out to Henry, who uh, mentioned those uh, couple of games her earlier that uh, he was recommending and you didn't know about them. Uh, so he gave us another $5 and says, Ultimate General is based in the American Civil War with light logistical parts being made by uh, Darth Mod and Admiral is still in Alpha, I believe. I'm sure I've seen these like being recommended to me on Steam in the past. I'm yeah. sure I've seen these being recommended to me on Steam in the past. So, St Steam's on to too. Steam, Steam's in on this. Uh, so, oh, fudge. Where, where did you come from? You weren't there. Hang on. Okay, let's try the knee thing. Okay, I see. Just two shots to the knee and she went straight down. Now, that's of interest. And then you can run past. Yeah, yeah exactly. And while she's down for the minute, she can't wow. do anything. Guys, this was a really good tip. Why didn't no one tell us about this before? Yeah, I'm shocked and appalled. You've let you've all let me down. Uh, shout out to Zachariah who uh, gave us ten dollars and says I've been watching since the New Vegas Kill Everything run. I don't trust this time. guy. That is, yeah, that was about three months after. Ch yeah, I thought so. He's not responding. I think it he just fell out. There was just a draft or something. And I'm now I'm, I'm now suspicious of the lockers. Right, whenever this happens. Okay. It's fine. That is just a bit of gunpowder. We've got a bit of storage space. I would like to get some more of the white special gunpowder if we could. And now we're going around to the linen room. Police stations have their own laundries? I'm not I mean, convinced. I guess maybe. I mean, that seems weird. I think that seems weird. I'm not convinced. Uh oh. Uh oh. Why is the game giving you a lot of ammo? Uh oh. The game's giving me a lot of ammo, Claire. <laughs> In a corridor where something's broken the window. <laughs> Hmm. Wait, what's that? Is that? Oh, I think it's a liquor. I think it's the liquor, Claire. I'm pretty sure that's the liquor. Guess why it's called the liquor, Claire? Does it want to lick you? It does. God damn it! Why isn't it responding to being shot? People are saying laundry for inmates. I just didn't realize there was like a, a prison where actual inmates. Yeah, 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 I see. Yep, yeah. I see. Yep. Yeah. What the hell is that? I missed it! Oh, Ow! Oh. Then it attacked me! Go, go, okay, go! I need to reload. I need to reload. I need to reload. Where's it gone? Oh shit, it's up top. And. There we go. That'll 
do a bit of damage to you. How are you doing, friend? Bye. Okay. Two grenade rounds will finish off a liquor. They'll do some big-ass damage in the meantime. Okay. That's a liquor. It licks you. Got a big old tongue. Very creepy. Got a bit more of a dramatic introduction in the original Resident Evil 2. Got a little cutscene where he looked up at it ominously. Could have just walked into this side room, to be honest. Decided against it. Still, on the plus side, we're not dead. So everything's, you know, broadly as it should be. Okay. The star's office appears to be under control. Right. Bit of exploring to do in here. Claire, all yours while I have a bit of a loosey rounding. Yeah, shout out to Jeremy, who gave us $5 and says, I wish I could afford more to say thanks for getting me through the worst year of my life. I have MATN on at least eight hours a day. You guys are like my best friends. Oh, wow. That means you must re-watch a lot of stuff. Because we, we produce a lot. We don't produce eight hours a lot. Well, Because Claire doesn't you let me. <laughs> you did on New Year's. That's true. When the left. More, in fact, yes, that's 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 what true. You, more? you said it was eight hours. I think it was like eight eleven or something. You could go and check the exact length. And of course, you know, you add in like you know setup time and whatever. Yeah, yeah. By the way, this game was set up in the nineties. So hope you enjoy the the computer screen here. It's lovely. This nice. is what computers used to be about. Okay, so. Oh my god! Someone should clean that poor computer. Someone should clean my poor computer. Probably you. Uh, I should pay you to. I should just get you on pay time to clean my computers. They're not looking so hot. Yes, you need to buy a can of compressed air. We've had this conversation. Okay, authenticating account failed to authenticate account. Fine. So insert your dong. Uh, insert your dong into the USB port. And then we'll be good. Okay, so I need to find a dong, put it in there, and that will unlock the armory, which would be a good thing. A thing that is good. Okay. A bit more here yet, though. Claire, all yours. Shout out to uh, Demon Crim, who gave us $10 and has been giving us a lot of very good advice on this game uh, today in particular. Uh, and they say, hi, me and my girlfriend have been fans for a while and love your videos. Can we get a shout out to... Uh, I'm going to say Dijon, as in the mustard, or the <laughs> town, because uh, that's how it's spelled. Can we get a shout out to Dijon, Ellie, and our cat Gigi? Um, Dijon, Ellie, and Gigi, hello! Uh, and keep up the great work, so thank you for your advice uh, and your message. Excellent. Claire, can you write something Gigi down for me? Cat. Gigi is an excellent cat to give uh, extra scriptures. Left 9, right 15, left 7. Right, 15, left 7. Yes. Okay. So, I mean, I've got the note, but it'll save time if I just know it. So that's the safe that's in West 1. And there's a there's a thing here. There's That's where the battery is. But I'm now swimming in. Actually, you know, I took a light knot. Do I want to bother? Screw it. I've got enough health for the time being. I'm going to take the battery now. It's a bit of a waste. I could have taken another hit before using that. But I'll be okay for now. And is that supposed to be Chris's jacket? I don't know. Uh, okay. We're okay for the time being. We know there's more in here. And yeah, there's. we need the PC. We need the dongle for that. There's the linen room. And then yeah, I can just loop round to the lounge. And maybe I could have just completely left that liquor be and not bothered with it. I don't know if I actually needed it. But whatever. Uh, linen room. Which is... Okay. So I'm going to be needing that. presumably the diamond key. Uh, based on this thing, so we'll come back to that later. This lock gets me back to... Yes, the unicorn room. So now here's the library, and the fat guy will still be around. I don't know where he's gone. He he'll be around somewhere. He's fine. Uh, there he is. Hello there. He can't follow me into the main room, though. Presumably because it's a plot room, because Marvin's here. So the game just basically says zombies can't come into the main hall, because that would like, screw stuff up. Okay. So that means... Uh, ha, 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 wait, what's next on my list of things to do now? Ah, the battery. I can use the battery to power the detonator to explode the thing, which I believe gets me to where I want to go in terms of, I think I saw, a, there was a statue in there. I'm guessing that's the woman pouring water statue for the final medallion. So, okay, that's a list of things I need to do. And also I need to just do a bit of inventorying. So, uh, Claire, all yours in the meantime. Yeah, shout out to uh, Amphidimations, who gave us $5 uh, and says your Fallout 3 Kill Everything series was the first Let's Play I ever watched. Really? It's Interesting. 
It's been nostalgic to come back to the channel in 2019. Thanks for the laughs. Oh, you've been away for a while. Well, welcome back. Welcome back. I hope you're having a lovely time. Yes, welcome back. And you have a lot, uh, a lot of available things to catch up on if you'd like to to do that. Damn straight. Well. Oh, I could have just used the screen herb rather than wasting an actual mixed herb, but whatever. Yeah, I've got two empty spots here and the detonator will be used momentarily, so that's fine. Okay, so now I just need to run upstairs. The fastest way to get upstairs will be through the library, I think. Yeah, go through the library, up the ladder. That takes me right there. So I'm going to go there. No, oh, hang on. No, 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 no. West office. Uh, is what's his face here? Because there's yeah, sometimes there's a guy here. Sometimes there's just not he, he, he changes his mind luckily time will be frozen while he's uh, while we're actually in here So I imagine so Claire. What was it? Sorry, the the it safe was thing left nine what uh wait is that left is in okay two three four five six seven eight nine but That's me tapping left, but the thing goes right right 15 no, that's wrong. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Right, fifteen. Okay, but I, I think maybe you need. I to need to enter the whole thing left. first. I think you need to As go in, like, left do this. towards the number nine, and then five towards the number right towards the. But number that 15. that will be turning right, like clockwise. Well. Okay, maybe we'll try that. Turn then. left. Nope. To... It's backwards. Okay. I mean, but then it's turning, yeah, so nine. Then the other way, how many? Fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Seven left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, you were right. Fair enough. And they get to be, oh, more inventory space. More hip pouches. Okay. Pretty damn important. Now, can we get out of here before thingy mid jib? Oh, he's the other way. Yep, don't run into him. Okay, so now, now we've got extra inventory space, which is like the most precious commodity of all. So that's pretty damn good. Right, now we can go up and take care of that upstairs. Claire, all yours. Uh, yeah, shout out to Dieter, who gave us 10 euros. Uh, and says, I've been watching you since Fallout 3 kill everything, and I have seen every video since. Wow. That's a lot of videos. Ah, but have you? Because when we did Choose Your Own Apocalypse, oh. there were approximately 80 videos that were mostly unlisted. So did you actually see all of the unlisted videos, in including all of the extra secret ones? Did you see all of them? I don't think you did. Wow. Amazing. Um, there were about 80 odd, so whether you yeah. would have, uh, yeah. Uh, Dieter also says he has some money for the good work. I'm going to hide away from the explosion, by the way. Thank you, Dieter. Hopefully this is, like, far enough away from the explosion. Right. Yeah, people are a little bit upset that uh, the game thinks that's how a combination lock works, apparently. Also, why is there roaring? What roaring was that? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Problems. Uh, yes, here we go. I think we need to get the thing and then just get out in a hurry. Um, oh, fudge. What was the... What was the one? Uh, over to the officer's notebook. The last one here is a Woman Bow Snake. Okay. So, that's a woman... That's a bow. Uh, I'm guessing that's a snake. Snake! Snake. And we need to get the flip out of here. And there's the maiden medallion. Uh, so get that. And now let's GTFO before problems. Where... There's a lot of people talking to the about how now they what, need what, to what, go what? and watch. Oh, fudge, 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 fudge. There's liquors. And they've knocked, and someone's knocked over the cocky door. Go, run, get the flip out of dodge. Okay, the game's going to start tossing enemies at me as I try and make it back to the thing. Fuck it, go, run. Just okay, make... so shout out to Raven, who gave us $5, and says, You guys are great, Tabby is the best, and liquors are blind, so move quietly and slowly past them. Fuck that business, I want to get away from them as fast as possible. I know, honey. But then they hear you and they come for you because they can hear you. Fuck that noise. Fuck that noise. Into the cocking safe room. Go. They can't hurt me in here. 
Okay. Everything's fine. I'm, under, I'm just dropping a coward save. I'm just coward saving everywhere I can. I don't care. Okay. Okay. Uh, you really do You don't have much health. You do not have much health at all. Like a single slash from a liquor. That did that much damage. That's not nothing. I'm down into like... I'm back to fine now at least. Okay. Right, now I just need to get back to... Yeah, I can cut through the west office to get back to the main room now. And then I drop that, and then we're down in the... Th and then we've actually opened up the tunnel. And also we need to put down Marvin, because obviously he's not going to be alive. Obviously. Well, yeah. Uh, shout out to Patricia, who gave us a 17 Danish krona and wants to know what do we think the IQ of a zombie is? Uh, depends which game you're playing. Uh, like Ganados in Resident Evil 4 were the first to start exhibiting more intelligent behaviour. They could use tools. They cooperated. They communicated with each other. Um, in Resident Evil 6 and 7, they started using guns, tactics, mm -hmm. cover. But then they weren't really zombies in the same way. T-virus zombies, I don't think, really have any form of intelligence whatsoever. They just have certain base instincts pertaining to hunger. I don't think they've really got any intelligence. So it's almost like it's kind of an unanswerable question. Still, we've opened up the thing... Opened up the secret passageway. I'm guessing you're dead, right? Also, we, the whole point was, weren't we supposed to be... Okay, maybe we just don't give a shit about him anymore. We're just leaving him here. We're not even going to try and, like, take him with him. It's like, fuck it, I don't care. <laughs> fuck you. All right, well, we've kind of... That's kind of our first big objective. We've kind of... We've got the thing, so... It leads underground. Going underground. Good. You can get out of this hellhole. Yeah, he's going to have turned. Guess what? I think I found a way out. Yeah, he's very dead. Have you never Mom, watched Mom, a zombie movie, let's woman? Let's go. <laughs> Are you okay? He's blatantly not. Don't go in a confined oh, tunnel with him. No. I just go. Save yourself. Come on, it's bad. We gotta get you to hospital Please, now. Please, Claire. We both know how this is going to end. Do not go into confined spaces Get with them. The city. We can't just leave you here. Claire, please go. Do this for me. Do I need to shoot myself to make the point? You're stupid. Okay. Okay, bye. Hey, Marvin. Thank you. There's something slightly off about Claire's face. I don't know what it is. It just feels like slightly... I mean, you just say that about everybody called Claire, though. It's just something not quite right about her face. Leon, I think, works very well. Ada looks great. Leon, there's something just slightly plastic about her face. Mm -hmm. And I'm not quite sure what it is. Right, into the secret room. Which has got, apparently, lights. Oh, loads of grenade ammo. This is... Uh-oh, what do you mean loads of grenade ammo? And uh, I need a thing to turn. Now, it's not the valve, because uh, that there wasn't an option to take it back. That was just, like, where it was. So, okay. That gets me... What's that, by the way? Ah, gunpowder. Never hurts to have some gunpowder. But, yeah, it feels like this is, like, the first... The first proper room of, uh, of second area here. Now we can start going down into... Uh, the car park but this is clearly also designated as a safe room there is literally a nice thing here and therefore as it is uh, nine o'clock we've been going for a couple of hours shall we wrap up there uh yeah a little i mean we've got a few things to catch up on. oh you know what? let's okay let's just do one more safe room then we'll go we'll go to like the next save points we've got a few little bits and pieces to do so claire while i just double check i've got what i want here all yours yeah, shout out to Charles, who gave us $5 and says, I'm so happy I get to watch this live. Uh, and to Amanda, who gave us also $5 and says, John, I just want to say thank you for your good cheer. I lost a family member recently and a short hike made me both smile and cry, but it was so good. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, you know, any little way we can help. Like, that's one of the most humbling things about being a YouTuber. Mm. You get so many messages from people who are, like, you know, going through really bad stuff. And, like, you know, you can help in, you know, the little way you can. It's 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 humbling to know you're kind of, you know, in a stupid way, you're doing good. Yes, You're indeed. doing good. You're helping folks. It's nice. 
Uh, and Dagmar gave us 50 Danish krona and says, uh, John, how come you were more scared last week in Star Wars? You even had BD1 to save you every time. But there was stuff that was different. That was different because there were Venus flytraps and we haven't run into the Venus flytrap zombies yet. Well, it's true. If there was like, um, if there was jellyfish zombies, you'd be scared. Very. Okay, my first grenade's there, so obviously we know how grenades work. Um, okay, but I'm not allowed to go through here. Mm. Okay, locked door. Did you save in the safe point, by the way? I think I did. Okay. I hope I did. Uh, hang on. T-bar handle slot. But there's nothing here. This is a locked door. Hang on, chat. What am I missing? Why is there nowhere to go? Down here. Hmm. Claire. Oh, hang on. There's there's a there's a direction over here. Sorry, I didn't see there was a direction in this direction. Good. That would explain a lot. And, oh. Uh oh. Hello. Hello. It's probably a liquor, Claire. Cause it's always a cocking liquor. Oh bloody hell! I hate a long corridor. I'm getting out the grenade launcher now. Claire, all yours. Uh, yeah, shout out to Chupa Thingy, who gave us $5 and says, I just got off a six-hour flight to San Francisco. Now I'm on a bus for another two hours, so thank you for keeping me company. That sounds awful. I hope you get home really, really soon. And they also say my husband and cat are watching back home. So I hope very, very soon you can cuddle your husband and cat. I hope so too. Oh, I've got, I'm not feeling good about this room. This has got a bit of the Doom Arenas about it. Uh, there's a box next to a closed door that people wanted you to look at. Box next to a closed door. I didn't see it, and I'm not seeing any item on the thing, so... I guess we'll just leave that be for the time uh, being. You walked past a junction <sighs> box. A junction box? Oh, I've accidentally oh, triggered a cutscene. <sighs> ah, it's Sherry Birkin! Hello. Hi, Sherry! It's okay. It won't hurt you, I promise. Do you need help? Here, you can take my hand. I'm sorry, I can't understand you. You need help. Why? He's right behind you. What? Who? Shit! What? Look behind you, you dumb! Oh, oh dear, that's that's Birkin then. Hello! Hi, it's William Birkin. No, I'd go for the grenade launcher, to be honest. I'd go straight for the grenade launcher. That's that's fine. I know what a William Birkin is. Shoot him in the eye. The, not that one, the big one. Yeah, obviously the big one. you got to be kidding me. Okay, keep your distance, hit him with the grenades. Uh, okay. Words ain't gonna cut it. No, I wouldn't say so. Uh, okay, and wait. This thing's gotta go down. That certainly did some damage. All right, I'm just gonna put some grenades at him. That's absolutely fine. I mean, I might be able to get some easy shots in on the eye. I can't see whether the eye's actually open or not. There it is. Okay, reload. Now he's chilling out. That's a eye shot. That's a nice shot. Okay, keep my distance. I can use the grenade launcher to basically keep him busy. And no, you don't. Bye. And there's... Oh, he's coming for a big old hit right there. I know the eye's over there. Oh! Run! Okay. He's, he's surprisingly agile with the whole area. Oh, hang on. I might be able to get myself a couple of easy shots on the eye there. This isn't so bad. Reload because he doesn't have any projectile, so I should be able to get myself up. Oh, he's, he closes the eye on occasion. That's the problem. Oh, uh, shout out to Tom who gave us five pounds and says, John, why don't you just use that? It's not a terrible idea. Where's shit? Where is he? Claire, I don't know the fact I don't know where he is right now. Shit, where's he gone? He's behind. There he is. No, he, he was right there. He's, he's. Oh, fudge. Is that steam I can't. Oh, fudge. He's steaming. I can't see as clearly because Steam's filling the cocking arena. He's presumably coming this way, isn't he? Fuck, fuck, where's he gone? Where's he gone? 
Where's he just gone? Fuck, where's his... Fuck. Fuck. Shit, where is it? I don't cock it, no, Clara, that worries me. Uh, can he even come from this angle? I don't know where he cocking is. Is he, has he lost me too? Does he always home or does he not know where I am? Ah, oh, fuck me! Okay. Prepare for cutscene, perhaps. Ow! Fuck me! Okay, uh, okay, so occasionally he'll just come from above. Maybe I need to be watching above me at the time there. Come on. Damn it, open the eye. Uh, okay, so occasionally he's gonna be above me. Did that actually hurt me? No, I'm fine. That did literally no damage. Uh, watch out and make sure I can go. Watch out. Fuck, he's surprisingly well hidden, actually. Maybe I need to keep him just about in sight. Just so. I oh, there he is. Uh, there was no quick time event last time for this. Go. Now, turn around. Get a couple of. There, the eye was open for a second. Come on. There we go. I mean, it's not great, but it'll flip and do. Uh, this way is the way I need to go. I need to keep him in sight, otherwise he's going to cause trouble for me. Uh, reload that. Yep! That'll do some damage to you, stupid dick. And, come on. Uh, okay. This is... It's not so bad, but now he's... Fast. When he wants to catch up, he can. Okay. Where is he? Okay. Come on. Get the eye open. Oh, I hadn't reloaded. Uh, everything's fine. Okay, sometimes he goes down for a minute. I just need to keep him moving. I think we're okay for the time being. I might need to use some more grenades just to basically keep him tied up. Uh, reload. Acid. And prepare for big hit. And... I feel like I need to keep moving, actually. he's That didn't slow him down much. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. This is... Where's he gone? He's gone around there. Okay. Where's he just naffed off to? He's, he's up above. No, he's around there somewhere. Got him! Okay. There we go. Oh. I assume he's about to do a dramatic flinging himself off a cliff thing. That wasn't so bad. I don't know if I wasted a bunch of ammo, but... That's her dad, by the way. We're not supposed to know that yet, but yeah, that's the problem with remakes. You know the, you know the, the big so twist. So Claire's dad or the girl's dad? Um, not Claire's dad. I don't know. The girl's dad, Sherry. Whew. Hey. Little girl. Safe now. It's over. You just killed my daddy, bitch. Are you sure? Yeah, I promise. Everything's fine. I just need you to lower that ladder for me. Will you help me find my mom? Your mom is down here? I think so. I hope so. Yeah. Of course. I'll help you. As people are saying in the chat, of course, like, you know, the knife can be so powerful used correctly. If you can just get a load of knife swings across the eye, it can, you know, presumably that fight's, like, trivial for speedrunners. But uh, I'm, I'm happy to use a few grenades on a boss fight. Um, I'm happy with that, quite frankly. I got no problem with that whatsoever. Uh, shout out to Sir Roderick, uh, who says, Good job, John, you didn't die. I didn't die, which is the important thing. And apparently there's also some extra ammo around here, so I'm just going to grab that before we go. May as well get back some of this stuff. Combine two... I combined one hand grenade into two hand grenades. A great comment. In fact, I didn't even get hit, did I? No, I never got hit. So, I mean, I kind of, I took a very cautious approach to him, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Anyway, yeah, I'm just going to scan this room because clearly there's stuff in this room. So, Claire, all yours for a second while I just do a bit of scanning. 
Yeah, shout out to Daniel who gave us two pounds and says, it's my first super chat. Please say hi to me and Laura and Ethan. So, hello, hello. Daniel, Laura and Ethan, was that? Yes, Daniel, Laura and Ethan, hello. Welcome to the exclusive MATN Mega Club. That's a thing now. Yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> shout out to uh, the Angry Bagel who gave us five euros and says, I'm loving the Fallout Point Lookout series. It's the highlight of my week. Can you say hi to my partner, Amy? You are our favorite YouTuber. I'm loving the live stream, by Hello, the way. Amy. I'm sorry it's not going to be a long series because, you know, Point Lookout, like all DLC in Fallout 3, it's not the longest thing. It's going to be, uh, I think, five parts in the end. So it's not going to be the longest thing. Okay, it's pulled backwards and B to do the quick turn. That's how you do the quick turn in this game. I keep going for backwards and X, but no, it's backwards and B. I like the steam. That makes that makes the arena fun. That is yeah. a, that's a fun twist of the arena, adding the steam in. To lower visibility um, and having him just disappear occasionally. That's fun. Uh, that'll be that'll be five odd parts. And then we'll do a few little bits and pieces. So somebody in chat is saying uh, you did get hit, but you just took less than one bar of damage. Oh, which, fair enough. To which I say you cannot prove it. Yeah, I'd, I'd say that's basically not uh -huh. being hit. Mm -hmm. That's basically not hit as far as I'm concerned. And yeah, there's clearly a little side room, little side room, little side room. And that's just a corridor. So I'm pretty sure I've got everything I need there. Boom. Uh, shout out to Michael, who gave us $5 and says, I joined late, so I'm jumping back to the beginning. Looking forward to hearing some John Fear whimpers in about 20 minutes. I mean... The the locker jump scare was probably the single best one. Yeah. That was probably the single biggest moment of, ah, because I, I was not expecting that at cocky goal. Uh, okay, so that can no longer be open. That's just blocked now, so I need to, I need to loop around to get back out of this area. Loads of health items, so clearly they do expect to take a bit of damage. So I'm feeling pretty damn elite right now. Everything's and, good. And Michael also says thanks for the midweek stream. Um, I think they've been going well. I've been wait. I've been liking the way they go, and I think I've not been working myself quite so ragged yeah. recently. I've had the, been able to take the odd half day because uh, those who don't know, I do basically work seven days a week. <laughs> Uh, so maybe I can stop doing that at some point. It's yes, going to be great. Yes, we would really, really, really like John to be able to take a day off. Yes. Uh, okay. Yes. We're so both working on taking more time off. Pull them with your student strength. You got it! Superhuman student strength. There we go. You can actually, uh, a, fun, a fun thing, by the way, you can actually, I think it actually might be free as well. You can, there's DLC to have Claire Redfield dressed up as Eliza Walker, who was originally going to be protagonist, but they changed it to Claire Redfield. Because it was going to be an original character, who was like more of an, a straight-up, full-on biker chick, That's called cool. Eliza Walker. Oh, then they decided why she has the thing with the bike. Exactly, so they did, but when they changed it to Claire Redfield, because Chris Redfield was in the first game, they wanted uh -huh. to say it's, her, it's um, his sister, she's looking for her lost brother, diddly diddly dee uh they decided to change they basically gave her the biker jacket so it was kind of sort of a bit elisory but it's a so, different jacket what's your mom like she works at umbrella she's making an important new medicine umbrella that big pharmaceutical company mm, suspicious I don't, work. I don't get to see her much well hopefully you'll get to see her again soon and that's not a great person though i think she, she she's so treated a bit more sympathetically Worked with my mom, but he's gone. Wow. Both of my parents are gone, and it's just me and my brother. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't be. It means we've got something in common, and that's a good... I'm now wearing three hip pouches, by the way. Right? I mean... It's a lot of hip do pouches. What you gotta do. It's a lot of hip pouches. Those, that, those hip pouches. Marvellous. Right, let's sort out the inventory. Claire! Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, and shout out to Jordan, who gave us $10 and says, I always love catching a live stream. Here's some money for Supreme Leader Tabby. Indeed. Thank you very much. We will give her some pettings later from everybody. Um, shout out to Mordred, who gave us $5 and says, Hey guys, I love this game. I can't wait to catch up on the stream on my day off tomorrow. Don't get too scared, John. I'll try not to. It's been not so bad. Like, unless they've really stacked it up. Like, this game was never big on the jump scares because Resident Evil used to be super campy. They've massively upped the gore, which is interesting. And Resident Evil 7 was the really, really, really bloody scary one. And Resident Evil 2 was, like, they seem to have just basically decided they're going to go down the, this is the really gory one. And also the really good one. It's really well put together. 
Okay, we've made it to that parking garage. That was fast. I, that, that was looked like that was a fairly long way on is the. Is that uh, the next safe point you're yeah. mentioning? Well, it's like it looks like it's a big, like it's an area that's marked on the plot. Here. Uh, like the plan the officer wrote that we got on the journal. Come on. They like said because like this was supposed Over to be where there. we're supposed to be going. Like we're supposed to escape through the car park, which is obviously not going to happen. But you know, oh, so no, oh, bye, bye, Sherry. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to go down there. I just meant to check this out. Oh, Clara. I mean, I would normally say this feels like a Doom Arena 2. It's a bit worryingly big, but... I mean, we've only just had a boss. So surely it wouldn't be Doom Arena a cock again. Right? 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 I'm a bit worried about that. That that seems like a worrying possibility. Right, so obviously we're not getting out. So where are we going? Into okay, we need to get the parking card. Fine, so I don't have that. Stick, knife in hole. Can't do. Damn All right. It. We need a key card. One. Here, come out. <clears throat> that ain't doing anything. And you're sure this is the way? This is how my mom took me last time. Sherry? I've been looking everywhere for you, Sherry. Brave little girl, leave your house in the middle of this mess. Oh, it's Irons. He's a dick. On the ground, hands behind your head. Okay, he's not even going to pretend he's not a dick. On the ground, now. Sherry, tie your hands. Why are you doing Shut this? Shut up. Tie her. Okay, then. You tie her up now, or she dies. What's this all about? Child endangerment, for starters. Sherry, come here. What are you gonna do to her? None of your fucking business. If you hurt her, I swear to God, my brother is stars, and I will fuck <laughs> Sherry, get over here. What's your name? What's your fucking name? Claire! Sherry, you come with me now, or say goodbye to Claire. Okay, okay, I'll go! You better be taking me to my mom. Absolutely. Don't I don't trust him. Shit. Stop hurting her, please! Don't tell me how to do my job. Stop! Let me go! Obviously, nobody taught you manners. We'll fix that. Oh, yes, we will. Let me go! Let me go! I'll get you, you fucker! That's Chief Irons. He's a dick. I can't remember whether he was the mayor or chief of police. He's something high up in senior in Raccoon City. Stay safe, Sherry. So, no more Sherry. We only had her for like okay. two and a half seconds. Key card first. And then that asshole gets what's coming to him. And now I assume, yeah, now the doors are open. Okay. So I'm guessing we might have a little little safe. That Must was not be where safe that guy room. Came from. He came from here. Okay, can't be too unsafe then. Ah. Need more keys. We've got a lack of keys here. And express elevator to chief's office, not for general use. And it's locked. I'm guessing you need to, yeah, use a computer or something in here to do that. So that's going to be a no-go for now. But we do get a map. There we go. That'll flip and do. So now we can see where we're going. So yeah, we need that. We can't get in there. So literally the only way to go is around there. Claire, all yours. Yes, indeed. Uh, shout out to Derpy Swede, who gave us 50 Swedish kroner and says, fine, I guess I'm joining the exclusive MATM Mega Club too. Bastard is the police chief? Yes, you are. Yes, Excellent. Indeed. Yep, you are. That bastard is the police chief. We just had it confirmed. Welcome with your... Ba do, we, do we agree Swedish was best kroner? I believe we agreed Swedish was best kroner previously. Da the Danes always insist their kroner is strongest kroner. They're very proud of this fact. But uh, I'm pretty sure we are. We, we agreed Swedish based on previous uh, tests was the yes. superior krona overall. Yes, indeed. Uh oh, Claire. What? 
the puppies, Claire. I know. The puppies. No, I'm, I'm going to the firing range first if we can. Let's get some guns set up if at all possible. Let's see if we can get some guns here. Yeah, and shout out to Derek who gave us $5 and says I'm hailing from Atlanta, Georgia. Love your content. Keep it coming. Excellent. Hello to Atlanta and mm -hmm. other fellow Atlanteans. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Kat who gave us $2 and says this is all I can give. Love you both. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Every donation, every comment in the chat. Absolutely. Okay, note about a car. Bent key no longer usable. Can open the car's door and trunks with its keyless entry buttons. So, okay, I'm assuming there's going to be a key around here. A box. Okay. Examine box to open box because box is going to be, you know, there's going to be something inside. Presumably the key that was just mentioned, right? Yes, well-worn key. So now I can open a car back in the garage. Which could be of use. And a message from Mr. Raccoon. Howdy boys and girls. It's your pal from Raccoon City Zoo. Which is not in this game. But is in uh, Resident Evil 3. Which is uh, being coming out in like a month or two. Mm -hmm. So we can go and visit the zoo then. Oh, Excellent. Yay. Zombie animals galore. Actually there was an almost a disappointingly few zombie animals. To be honest. There mm -hmm. was like you pass close by to the zoo. But not really much actually uh, happened there. There weren't. There wasn't like a massive zombie elephant or anything. It was, to be honest, genuinely a bit disappointing. Okay, that's a diamond door. I'm guessing we're allowed to go into the, the firing range though, and there's gonna be there's gonna be trouble in here. Okay, get in here, grab the grenades, get out again. Don't bother fighting. There's gonna be someone's gonna wake up in here. But I'm almost suspicious they haven't already. Any more ammo? No, actually, straight in and out, no problem whatsoever. So that's good at the bare minimum. Claire. Yeah, a shout out to uh, Daniel, who uh, was messaging us just earlier uh, and gave us uh, another five pounds. So this is our first live stream we've been watching since Rome. Wow, uh, that's yeah, that's that's it's not it's not uh, the 2013 crew, but that's a long time ago oh, now. Wait, wait till you hear this last bit. Uh oh, yeah. Ethan is our son. He's seven months old and has heard John's voice since before he was born. Oh, that, I, I mean, I know that's technically not surprising, but it still makes me feel old. I feel old. Uh -huh. I feel dying. Poor child and those poor influences on him. Damn straight. Uh -huh. Now, which car was it that we needed to use that key on? It's one of these. I'm just going to check all the cars. Claire, want to check the cars? Yeah, shout out to Timothy, who gave us $10 and says, Hi, John, I've been subscribed for over a year now. This is my first time donating Keep up the good work. I don't think I've ever seen a video of yours that was low quality, so have a cup of tea on me. Oh, well, thank you very, very much indeed. Okay, uh, ignition. So I can't use the ignition, but I can use the... I should both use the button. Ah, press yes. it. Yeah, press it now. Aha! So you need to press the button first. Okay. Shotgun by any chance? No, but... I'm guessing less shit gun! I mean, 13 rounds is enough for that to be considered significantly less shit by itself, <laughs> quite frankly. I'm guessing it does use, yeah, 9mm versus 9mm. Okay, I don't know, but I'm going to guess that it makes absolutely no sense that a revolver uses the same ammo type as, like, a pistol, where it's, like, a, a chamber that's manually loaded versus a clip that you slot in. I'm guessing that makes no cocking sense, but, uh, okay, we've now got that. I'm guessing that's, oh, it's got a laser on it. Whee! lasers. It's worth it just for the laser, quite frankly. It, it works just on that basis alone. So I'm, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty damn happy with that. Oh, we have no choice but to go through the kennel. Oh, no. Claire, all yours. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh Liquor. Gonna go over to flame rounds. Shit. Uh-oh. Also, there's... Hang on, there's, there's a door. I haven't... Okay, I'm going to put off... Put, I'm gonna, I, I need to check that other door. It's really important I check that other door. Better check that other door to make sure that it's... It's everything's... It's... it's I should check oh the other God, door. Amazing. Um... I need to check the other door, Claire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm not making fun of you. Uh, you should be, but... I mean, yeah. Um, When do I not? Uh, shout out to Screwtop, who says... um. 
Ethan's first word will be diddly diddly d. I mean, <laughs> it's entirely possible. If it's not like flipping cock something, it'll be good. <laughs> was there was there a, a save point down here? Mm -hmm. If there's a save point, I'm gonna drop a save before I go around that corner because I've just collected a bunch of stuff. So I just want to drop this ah. save for... Yes, there was. Good. Uh, we have an American in the chat who says 9mm revolvers, revolvers do exist. However, they are fairly uncommon. Okay. So I guess, you, yeah, you could use... Like, does that mean, like... I mean, what form does the ammo come in? Does that mean, like, the ammo that's, like, in a in a clip is, like, in a little thing? Mm -hmm. But that means that it's, like, when I'm loading the revolver, I need to actually, like, pull it out of the little thing. Or something. I don't know. I don't know how guns work. I'm British. Uh, um, apparently, it's not a clip. It's a magazine. Because clips the are same more for, thing. like, you know, giant assault rifles. That's the same thing. The oh, fuck I mean, is that liquor? I'm about to be jump scared by a fucking liquor. Where okay. is that? I mean, it's not here. Is that the door to the kennel? That's the kennel door, yeah. yeah I, be I believe the liquors are in the kennel. Why? On what basis would you say that? Chad told me. Oh, well, that's not fair. That's cheating. I mean, and honestly, why aren't the dogs in the kennel? Like, Resident Evil dogs is just a thing. Okay, fair enough, yeah. Bye! Fuck you! 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 Why would I do that? Wait, what? No, that was my shadow. Okay. Why would I do that when I could kill him? I'm not taking the cocky risk. I might need to run through him. Ah! Fuck! 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 There's a thing. Fuck! 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 Run! 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 Fuck! Fuck! Why were there two? Okay, I'm fine. Where is he? Where is he coming? Oh shit! Can he come? Can he come through the fucking walls or ceiling or something? Fuck! Fuck! Reload. That was fucking a second one. Where is he? Um. Shit! Where's he gone? <sighs> Boom! Fuck you! Stay on the fucking ground. Okay. Reload. One acid round remaining. Go back over to the pistol. The pistol's pretty good. Everything is fine. Why are there no dogs in the kennel? That's like the one thing that ought to be there. But there's no dogs in the kennel. That's... John the Lickers ate the dogs. Well, yes, but still. I feel like if there's one place you're going to introduce Resident because Evil dogs... John, the dogs are in Leon's storyline, not Claire's. Ah. No. I see. So... Sorry, just to confirm. So on top of grenade launchers being gendered, Lickers are gendered to women only. There's... I think just... There's, there's... Freud I mean, would have things to say. It's more like dogs are gendered to men only. Or it's... I mean, I think the thing with with the grenade launchers being gendered is that you're saying it was in repeated number of games. I think if it's in one game, it's not necessarily gendered. It's just like a thing in the story. It was in one and two. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Why would you open more drawers in a game about zombies? Like just that is about as dumb as hiding in the crypt. Chip. No, just. Just, just some giant things. Well, there's going to be something on one of them, isn't there? There's going to be something good here. There's going to be something good that makes this worthwhile. Okay? I'm prepared. I'm prepared emotionally for this. There's going to be a jump scare. Yeah. Fine. Yep, problems. Doesn't appear to be causing trouble. I mean, you did shoot it in the deck, so... I think it might be female. 
Okay. Well, that means by process of elimination, it's going to be one of these three that's got a good thing. Okay. No. No. So, therefore, this is where the puppies and gold are. You just shot a corpse, you monster. Well, then what's this room for in that case? I mean, scaring you? I mean, I guess so. Story checks out. Well, it sa no, it says there's something to pick up in here. The room is red. There's something to pick up. Oh, maybe I haven't... I haven't I didn't bring it. I didn't bring out the corpses. Aha! It's because that's so, when he get up. That's when he get up. Yeah. Go 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 go. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna get the cockroaches out more too. Cockroaches are chill. That's fine. Uh, okay. So now, yeah. I, I just I you can check what's going on, and then some of them you can pull out further, and some of them you can't. You know, maybe it just well, I've decided for safety. There we go. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. I'd say that makes a huge amount of sense, actually. Right, we need to pull out the other actual person. Actually, well, there are two people. Yeah, there's two people. No thing. Okay. Back in you go. Back in you go. Back in you go. Now, we did shoot this woman. But that doesn't necessarily inherently mean that she might not get up in a second. Hi! How are you? I think it was just the grenade. Hang on. I can check this. No, there's still something in here. There's still something in here. Okay. So we pulled out that and we've got the grenade. But the game is still saying there's something in here you haven't found yet. <laughs> Must be the others. Hang on, I'm just gonna check. I'm gonna check the ones we haven't. Whether any of the others can be pulled out any further. This is. Ah, can I climb in here? No, I can't climb in there. Claire, all yours. Will I just double check the rest of them? Mm. People are saying there is something there. So I don't know. Yeah. I'm just gonna try if any of the others open any further. That doesn't open any further. That doesn't open any further. Uh, he had a thing. Who had a thing? Uh, one of the guys clearly Ooh. that you pulled out. Well, maybe they're referring to the grenade I already picked up. Now that gets me that. That's there. Now we've got... Suit guy had a thing, apparently. Suit guy had a thing. Which one was suit guy? He was the one who I closed over on the... Oh, there's also something right here. That's just a note, though. Uh, just enhancer. Dead. Zombies. Dead. Yeah. Zombies. Dead. Zombies. Look closely on the second body you'll hold out. Okay. Captain Watts' face, it was you. Claire! Claire! Claire, behave! Behave, Claire! There we go. No, not that one. Oh, he's gonna. Claire, he's gonna jump scare me. Claire, he's gonna do a jump scare. I know. <laughs> I fucking knew you were about to do that, you fucking... Fuck you. Fuck you. Okay, and now... Oh, you've woken up too. Well, that's just bloody great. Uh, one, two. Get down on the ground. Get down on the ground. Okay, passed. Out. Room is clear. Fuck you. Okay, leave them in there. We don't need them anymore. So that was the... That's a crank handle. We don't have the crank yet. So we can't do that. But now I've got a fancy looking key. Opening up all sorts of stuff we previously would not have had access to. So the kennel is... Apparently there's something in the kennel. So I've, I've missed an item in the kennel too. But I think we I could... I mean the kennel was scary. The kennel was pretty scary. There better not be more fucking liquors. I'd be pretty pissed off if there's more liquors now. Uh, yeah, because the items, they used to glint very aggressively in Resident Evil, depending on which game you're in. On this occasion, they kind of... They don't. They're pretty... They're very subtle. When they're glinting at all. If they even glint. There we go. There's something there. And that is just some... Ah! High grade gun. Uh, high grade gun is good. We can make proper grenades with that. Good. 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 Right. Time to... Oh! Fire! Fire! Ah! Ah! Fucking stab him! Fucking stab him right in the brain! 
Fuck! 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 Fuck you! Fuck! Oh, fuck you! Yeah, you better fucking stay down! Jesus! Are you dead? Okay. You're all right. I'm fine. This okay. is the diamond key. We have a really nice dinner planned for later. It's the diamond key, and there's a diamond door right there at the firing range. So at least I can Excellent. go and get some stuff right there. And there's a diamond door too. Ooh. I'm hoping that'll be that'll be a very convenient save point if that was actually a nice little save room. Yes. Straight into here. Okay, the zombies have woken up there, but I should be able to hopefully get in and out nice and fast if we're lucky. Use that. Yeah, if we can just get in, loot this place, and then get back out again before they actually get to me, that'd be great. Uh, and the, yeah, the they they have it. not. Still, we've got ourselves another roll of film. This room with the, the funny keys, are they the save, the save points? We've got everything we need here. Get Ow! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck! No, I've got I've got an emergency health item, but I'm really in trouble right now. Uh, okay, I've got I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna go over to. I was about to say I'm gonna go over to uh grenade, equip that as backup item. Go. <sighs> Fuck you. Bye. How did that not kill you? How did that not work? Toss. We've just put a grenade in her mouth. That's just run. She's about to explode. Okay. Bye, Betsy! Okay, that was a waste of two grenades. And you're not even cocky dead. <sighs> Screw you. Right, okay, so that was... That, that was fun, though, that it lets you just shove a grenade in her mouth. That's been a thing since the Resident Evil 1 remake. Yeah. Grenades as a, as a thing you can do that to. I'm just going to just type to GTFO. Back over here. Fudge sake. That was a, such a waste of a double grenade as well. I, I kind of thought there'd be more, like, splash on it. Because in Resident Evil 4, that would easily have cleared both of them. But, um, that was a thing. I don't... Whatever. The, the knife wasn't an option, I don't think. They said you forgot the knife. I think it broke. Because I checked his body and it wasn't on it. I'm hoping this is a safe room. Could this be a safe room? I'd like this to be a safe room. That's just activating the lift, isn't it? That's just activating the lift. Oh. Uh, ooh, but that looks good. Shoulder stock. Uh, grenade launcher? Sweet. My grenade launcher is better than it was. Oh, but it now fills more space. Mm. I feel like that's worse. I feel like that's actually, um... I feel like that's actually worse right there. I'm not feeling like that. That's better. That's better at all. Okay. We've got elevator controls. That's Ah, there's high-grade weapon powder in here. I'm glad I checked them out there. That is... There it is. It's hidden at the back. That's really good. Right, I'm going to do and do... I need to do a little bit of inventory management here because I've got a load of good stuff I can combine to get my grenade total back up to where it should be. Nice. Claire, all yours. Shout out to Jaffa Cakes who gave us $20 uh, and also has an excellent username uh, and says, Hi, John. Now that the Pokemon series is just about finished, have you thought about doing another Pokemon culling? And a challenge if you decide to play again where you can only use the Pokemon that you don't decide to murder. Uh, I will be, I, I'll kind of wait and see exactly what's in the DLC, the expansion pack, before we do anything else with uh, Sword and Shield. I would like to give a look to the demo for the new mystery, uh, mystery team dungeon DX things. I never played the originals, I was, uh, they were never my thing. So, I wouldn't mind giving them a uh, Luxy at some point, that might be fun. So, I would like to, uh, I would like to do that. Uh, do I have any green herbs? I do have one green herb, good, I can do a bit of blending there. Which is good. I'm going to put away the film. Because I can just pull it back out in the room whenever I go back there. And get rid of the blue herbs for now too. And how far away is the chief's office? I don't know. But I was going to save here. Okay. Well, somebody was just saying the chief's office was a safe point. But uh, uh, if you found another safe point, that's fine. I just thought you were looking for a safe point. Uh, well, there's one right here in the car park. Well, if there's one, Where we were, just li we were literally passing through, so. Okay. I do also have six flame rounds, so I should take them. Nice. But now I can actually, yeah, combine with you. Two, combine with you. And now we've got, why was that two and that one three? I don't know. 
But now, now we've got a ton of grenade ammo in an upgraded uh, grenade thing and a better gun. And actually, you know what? Now I've got this. There's kind of presumably no point in actually having the the gut, the actual uh, um, revolver. People are saying don't forget the knife. I'll go and check for it, but I thought we... No, but like, I think they meant don't forget to take a knife in your inventory out of the box. Ah, good point, good late. point. Yeah, excellent yeah. idea. Also, um, I need to. This is this is starting to bother me, so I need to. I need to rearrange my my thing. Of course. So my OC, that makes sense. so OCD doesn't kick in immediately. Uh, but then this goes up to here. Then support items could be. Ah, but now there's, there's now there's too many things here. But if this is ammo, these could go up here. These could go here. That goes. There. No, that goes there. That there we go. That's better. Look, now it's nice. I know, but you were just saying that I could talk while you were doing that. Mm -hmm. And then you talked while you were doing that. Uh, pish, pish, pish and tish. Shout out to uh, Tiernan Smari Ragnars and Hammer. I'm going to go with that. That's an excellent name. Who gave us 500 Icelandic Krona. Oh, so, no. A new a new enter into the Krona Wars. Uh, oh, no. It's been there. It's oh, been no. There. It's, it's uh, not the most common, though. It's, it's, it's not the most common. Tiernan says, these are all lies. Icelandic is the strongest krona. Oh, is it stronger than Danish? I don't actually know. Oh, flip. Um, oh, the, the, the wars are on here. Uh, shout out to Yash, who gave us $5 and <sighs> says, I legit cried at the end of a short hike. It's been I was, I tit up a bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, that hit me right in the emotions. That was an spectacularly good game. I mean, I kind of expected the ending of it when I edited it because I warned you, you came it was, out it of recording emotional. it saying that it had punched you in the field. Yeah. So I thought that, that So you was thought coming. it was going to be something, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I thought there was clearly some kind of, you know, intentional thing they was doing with the phone, but yeah. it was very good. Uh, and Yash says, it's been a difficult time over the last year and it was exactly what I needed, a short hike. So thank you, both of you. <laughs> Oh, we're outside. Thank you very much, but I'm worried we're outside because that normally means dogs jumping over the barrier or something. That's not an uncommon Resident Evil trope when you're nipping outside for a second. Ah, uh, this will be the Chief's incredibly creepy taxidermy office then. Got and, it. And uh, people point out that you can, in fact, stack the acid rounds. Ah, can uh, I? Yeah. That makes sense, yes. And uh, the grenades. So, fair enough. Money, 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 money. Yes, obviously. Umbrella, police chief finds is dirty, working with Umbrella, blah, 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 Get your shit together. I told you we need more security in the sewers. Yes, that's very important to guard the shit. The literal shit. Uh, combine. There we go. That's more like it. Now you can be, oh, but now that means, where should this go? This should go up here. you can combine the grenade and the acid rounds. Really? I apparent I don't know. People are saying something about stacking them together. Doesn't work. All right, all right, all right. And safety trousers, excellent username, <laughs> uh, says Icelandic Krona is about thirteen times stronger than Swedish Krona. Oh wow! Mm -hmm. Icelandic Krona is, is has, has avoided the terrifying inflation of the Scandinavian Krona. I see. Uh huh. Uh, shout out to uh, Sir Piroli, who gave us 10 Polish sorties, and says, I was drinking and passed out. What did I miss? Um, lots of jump oh. scares. Also, I hope you uh, never do the many a true nerd drinking game. Never do the many how, a true nerd drinking game. You, that's you how you suffer. die. That's how um, you die. Okay, so this has actually brought us back into the... Did you ask who just has a, a giant tiger statue? Actually, they did say this place used to be a museum, so that kind of explains why that's I mean, also, a thing. he's an arsehole. And also, he is an arsehole. So I'm not sure whether that's supposed to be, like, a, you know, an actual, a real taxidermy, or whether it's just, like, a sculpture. But, you know, it, it's it's kind of dickish regardless. Oh, no, it is actually taxidermy, including Siberian tiger taxidermy. I nearly came when I sliced its belly open. I'm gonna put this. We're just gonna put this, this the diary down now. We're just gonna put the diary down. Is what we're going to do. Oh, what else have you got, Claire? Uh, Nefarious bread gave us ten New Zealand dollars. Excellent dollars. Uh, and says, oh, "Spoopy game." It is pretty much yes. With a spoopy face. I ain't gonna uh, deny that. And also, uh, shout out to some other guy, part two, Electric Boogaloo, who gave us $20. Thank you very, very much indeed. Uh, and with that, we are caught up. 
We are all caught up. Well, in that case, as it's called to 10 and we are literally in a safe room of sorts, I'd say we should probably wrap things up there. So, yeah, we've got back over to the police station, but now we're in the area on the, um, yeah, the... The kind of the um the right hand side of the top floor. So we've already been here a little bit because we've been to the art room, which is where we actually got some good stuff back in the day. But yeah, we need to kind of go into the private collection room and diddly diddly dee. Ah, no, go good thought. The turn oven. the oven on because we've got some good oven food. That is an excellent thought right there. We're going to be eating in a little while because it needs to be in the oven for a while. So yeah, we've got we've got some stuff here. Heart door. Now where were the how many more diamond doors were there? Okay, the linen room is a diamond door. That was dongle. Then if we go over here, that's heart and that's club. So records we still can't... It's weird. It's literally two different keys to get into the same room. I assume there's like a little a, a block here or something. But it looks like if I was just to take the diamond... Well, there might be more doors over here. I can't see these doors right now, admittedly. But yeah, maybe if I was to take the diamond key over to uh, here, I might be able to just toss it immediately, which would be useful. It feels like there's a lot more heart keys dodged about so okay i'm pretty happy with what we've done here there's there's been a few good jump scares in particular the locker and the liquor any particularly good jump scares aside from the locker and the liquor i think those were the best ones no those... i think those were the best ones uh, i and, think them uh, were the best can confirm yes tabby is being an excellent cinnamon roll oh the best cinnamon roll excellent there yes, we indeed. go Let's go wrap things up there. Okay. Woo, are you feeling all right? Honey? I'm okay. It's Aww. it's been it has been stressful, but it's not been too bad. I think we've had I think I had a lovely time with this one. It's it's a really well put together game. It does what it does very well. It's not like that scary, to be honest. Like it it's got the odd jump scare, but it's not so bad. It's not so bad. I think what we might do is next Wednesday, we might just do the outer world. We might wrap it up. Because that one's been yeah. kind of hanging over us for a while. And it looks like we would be done in, like, one more part. So Ooh. I suspect we should just do that. Yes. By the way, yes. uh, remember earlier when I said Sarah sent us a little video of her doll? Yes. Yes. <gasps> Here it is. Sarah says, uh, this is Lucky trying to get out of trouble by wagging her tail. She was in my spot on the couch and she knew better. Oh, <gasps> that's such a waggy tail. There we go. That That is an extremely waggy tail. I'm not um, going to deny. I am going to put that again in the chat. Uh, I have a, um, I have done already a few times, but in case people missed it, here's <clears throat> a puppy video. I'm guessing from what I just saw in the chat there, we're getting very close to Mr. X. So, um... <laughs> If this shows up in a vote again at some point, then, uh, yeah, Mr. X will be showing up very soon. Did you say Outer Worlds instead of Outer Wilds again? I probably did. I meant Outer Wilds. Uh, we'll probably do... I the mean, one I, with the timey-wimey The one with space. the timey-wimey, because we're almost done with that. So we, I, I, might, I reserve the right to change my... There might well be a vote next Tuesday. Who knows? Aww. But it would be nice to just finish it. Shout out to that one guy who gave us $5 and says, I couldn't ask for a better stream for my birthday. Thank you guys for everything you do. And here's to another fantastic year. Oh, thank you so much. And thank happy you birthday. so, so much. And happy birthday. Yes. Sorry, you can kind of prompt to be saying happy birthday too. Happy yes. birthday, that one guy. <laughs> I was about to be like, John. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um... And Chitara says, thanks, John and Claire. I appreciated the stream tonight. And chat has been lovely as always. So thanks to all of you. Excellent. Yes. So let's go eat some food. And let, and also, I was about to say and eat Tabby. But no, let's not eat Tabby. We might let's feed, feed tab. Tabby. Yes. Key difference. Eat versus feed. Very important difference between <laughs> oh the two. God. Do not eat Tabby. We will not eat Tabby. Do not. Wow. Shit. What did I put in the oven earlier? You didn't. Okay, right. So, we're going to wrap things up there, ladies and gentlemen. That's been Resident Evil 2. I imagine that this will show up again as a vote. Absolutely. Oh, no! What? Chupa thingy, Chupa thingy sent us $2. And she just said, Claire, the bus engine died. Uh, oh, no! This is the person who was, was listening to us on the, the bus. Who... I'm so sorry. Your, your bus is dead. And also, we're going to... We're about to go. So, you're going to lose your source of entertainment. I'm sorry. 
I mean, there are many more videos that uh, they can watch. There are, in the fact, channel. more videos than ours on YouTube. That's true. I, mean, I meant that they can watch more many a true nerd That videos, too. Sure. Or Claire Russo videos, if you're interested well, in books. thank you. Thank you very much If you're much interested indeed. in books, there, Claire has her own channel about books. And also d turning book reading into D&D &D campaigns for reasons. It's fun. I've been reading a lot. Does that of sound interesting? Claire's got her own channel. You can find that nice and easy. Right, fine. I'm gonna put a link in the chat. So yeah, you can go ahead. It. I'll mention uh, it. But uh, yeah. Yeah. Wrap things up there. Probably Outer Worlds next week, but Resident Evil 2 will be showing up on a vote again. If you want to see us do a bit more of that, because we've made an excellent start here, and uh, yes, the hulking, terrifying Mr. X is coming up. Very, very soon indeed. So uh, vote for this again if you want that. And uh, we've got some... Oh, we've got some good stuff coming up for you this week. We've got two fairly big games from uh, 2019 uh, coming up on Thursday and Saturday. It's it's going to be... Uh, it's going to be interesting. We shall see. Look, uh, Saturday in particular. Saturday is going to be Sekiro. So that goes about as well as you would expect. That's, yeah, that's the thing. So, we'll leave things off there. Thank you very, very much for joining us. Thank you very much to the Super Chat donators. In particular, your generosity is always incredible. Uh, to all the patrons, to everybody who's around, everyone who's just, uh, you know, been around for all of this nonsense. Hopefully, see you on, I believe it's uh, stream is on Sunday this week. Um, You've no, got... it wasn't. I thought you had your weekend day marked on Saturday. Did I? I thought you did. I'm going to check. But I thought you, I thought you did. But am I misremembering? Yeah, you've got Saturday marked week? us off. No, it's this week. You've got Saturday marked us off. Sorry, I don't have the same thing in my thing. Okay, do you want me to change that now? Yes, please. Okay, this street, the stream will be on Saturday. <laughs> dear, oh dear. Mm -hmm. Claire ruining everything as always. Stream on Saturday, not Sunday. I uh, don't know what that's going to be. There'll be a vote on Friday. There could be some really good things coming up. So, hopefully, we'll see you there. But in the meantime, I've been John. I've been Claire. It's been many a true nerd, and this has been Resident Evil 2, the remake. Thank you very much, and good night. Good night.